You're very punctual. If not That's anything not so else. Hey, if I arrived anywhere at 931 for a 930, I'd be all right. I'd be Morning. all right with that. I mean, nor I mean, mom has chained us growing up. You're five to ten minutes early. That's on time. I'm sorry, mom. That didn't stick. Jody did not embrace. Here's the thing. If I need to be somewhere it specific for an appointment yeah, yeah. or things. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Your skin looks good like afternoon. Really, your skin looks like it's fucking glowing. Mine? Did you have a procedure? Yeah, I wish. I think I have an ingrown toenail. I have a I have tinted moisturizer on to cover up the patchy redness from Alberta Winters. Actually, I do too. You look great. This lighting. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning from the Czech Republic. What? Oh my goodness. Sue from Vancouver. <gasps> and Ireland. I see you in Brussels. My goodness. Atlanta. This is hilarious. People that click on these videos must be like, what are they doing? Hi, Linda. Linda's hugs from the UK. Oh my goodness. North Carolina. God, I would love. <gasps> It's Shayla. Groundhog Day. Somebody said it's Grand Groundhog Day. Shayla's here. Shayla. Oh my God. It's God, so nice you. to see you. Um, <laughs> Dublin. You guys. I'm Hello from Texas. Okay. Do you want to hear what's really weird? And no, I haven't had a brain altering like something. I don't even know what I, path I, we're going down right I now. I was thinking. I'm preparing myself. Would it be too much to do it every week? Yes. Because <laughs> we've done that before. And it's a lot. Okay. He, all yes, that to Jody. say. I've missed you guys because I I've love this. I've missed them too, but my <laughs> real life no, job I today, I should be, normally I would be doing my real okay, job right here's now. here's the thing. I have if to do that. If our parents were home, we could do this I'm not committing week. to anything. It's too early. I haven't even finished my coffee. And it's not even in relation to how much I love it, and we've no. done it once a week. No. Lots. Mm -hmm. And we will do it once a week. We'll have spurts where we do it. Um, um, it was just because I... It's really hard to juggle everything. It is. Right now it is. It is. Of course. Stupid idea, Jody. Wake up. We love you. It's a stupid great My idea. My lip gloss matches the yarn. Look at that. I mean, I do love the idea. I love it. Debbie says do it. Uh, hello, Amy from Edinburgh. Hello from England and Raleigh, North Carolina. Martha's Vineyard. <gasps> do you have a guest room? I want to come visit. Charlotte, we're coming for you. I want to come you. visit. Shayla... Shayla, are you sewing those amazing bags and everything else this morning? What are you up to? I bet you are. New we'll, York. We'll keep you company. Long um, Island. You guys, our weather with the chill Ugh. is minus 29 Gross. Celsius. Tomorrow, plus three. I know. We live in the weirdest place. Our weather is b bizarre. How are we not sick? Mm. Kansas. We're not in Kansas anymore. No, we are not. You have me hooked on the love note. Oh, good. Listen, that's a beauty and an amazing pattern. It's a, it's people love it. It's it, so fun to wear with how it drapes. It's a little bit yes. bell, bell shaped. I, I haven't worn mine for a little while. Tomorrow is love note day. I'm wearing mm. it. I'm wearing it. Um, Brossard, Quebec. Yeah. Yo, somebody says new tattoo, Jody. I did. Show I, us what you got. I just took the second skin off this morning. Jody, it's so pretty. It's going to be um, in like the American traditional style of tattoos. Uh, there is a, a moth in here. So we're going to um, do the flowers quite like the traditional, like more saturated colors. Okay. And then the moth will be soft. Like, so it'll pop. It's going to be very colorful. Thank you. Jody. I and love it. And then this one's going to have a sparrow under the same kind of feel. Who even are you? I'm obsessed with my tattoos. I love them I, so I much. I noticed they're really pretty. It's very fun too mm. when your child is doing this art for you. Yeah. Oh my That's gosh. That's amazing. Jody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I want to get a skein of yarn or something. Maybe not, though. Who knows? Shayla, what did you just say about Beyonce tickets? What? <gasps> She's doing a world tour. I know. Did you see the picture? She looks... On the horse? Are you kidding me with that, Beyonce? Anyway, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Montreal minus 25 tomorrow. Montreal, from the pictures I'm seeing, dumps of snow. Really? Yes. That's one thing we haven't... I mean, there's snow on the ground. Very little bit of snow. I feel like it's... We haven't seen a lot of snowfall. Yeah. A little bit this week, yeah. but but yeah. No, you're totally right. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I hate the 
the deep freeze. I've hardly worn my big puffer coat this year. I haven't worn, do you know? Barely. Yeah. One week. Remember yeah. when it was like minus 40? Yeah. yeah. I just still wore a vest. I was wearing that. Yeah. Jody. <laughs> I'm still wearing a vest mm-hmm. and no socks. Mm-hmm. Okay. I actually put socks and Crocs on this morning because well, it was go. that chilly. Yeah. Yeah. And as much as I love making socks, I am, I do wear them to go out of the house. Thank God. Like when you put on a wool sock, you were instantly warm. Like it is such a good thing to have when you live somewhere cold. It is an instant warm up. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Like it's a huge difference from wearing the old commercial cotton whatever. It's a giant giant step up i absolutely agree with you yeah there's but nothing home, like it i'm always like barefoot if i get too hot the first thing well no only if i'm when i'm cold i wear socks say it isn't so and i've been wearing those mohair ones you've made me a lot those are kind of like like slipper socks they're fantastic but if i get too hot the first thing i rip off is my socks for some reason if i don't have socks on i yeah. feel better yeah so um then my shirt funny you say that. after that it's <laughs> socks <laughs> and shirt um, I don't wear, I wear t-shirts at home, but I always have slippers on my feet. Yeah. And I'm always wearing a sweater. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Good morning, New Mexico. Hello from Switzerland. My goodness. You guys, it's been two, how's everybody's two weeks been? Has there been lots of knitting? I wish you were coming to Vogue. Oh. I miss your faces. Oh. Listen, there what? will be FOMO. There will be FOMO. When is Without Vogue? a doubt. Next weekend. Not this now, but. What if we February eighth and ninth? Don't even, don't even tease me. Because ho, he, are we allowed to? Say, yeah, he, every, listen. Ho, he's going. Tra- we would die to see. So some- it would be amazing on so many levels. But I would love to hug our friend Ho he, and I would love to see friends that we don't. Yeah, see. Yeah, see friends like Shayla. I would love to hug Shayla. Mm-hmm. I would love to. It's been, it's so nice to be able to do these things now. So I hope everybody that goes. Has the best time. I really want to go to Vogue at one point because of the whole fashion side of celebrating fashion and knitting, mm-hmm. where they do the fashion show and all of that. So it's not exactly like every other show you go to. I feel like it's got its own special spin mm-hmm. on our knitting world. So I really do want to go. We'll go. <gasps> and I love New York. Oh, hugs from Lamont. Hugs from Lamont. Nobody hugs like Lamont, I swear. Well, now we've got to book a flight. I adore um, I adore you too. Okay, yeah. so here's the thing. Yes, we could jump on a plane next week, but here's the thing. Maybe we just put it out there that we, this is next year we plan for it. So it's in our head kind of. Yeah. Well, here's yeah, here's I exactly. So I don't think we'll be doing Ryan Beck. I don't know. We haven't even talked about it. Mm-hmm. So maybe we do something like Vogue Knitting Live. But there's also Vogue Knitting Live Seattle. Mm. But New York's pretty exciting, too, because we don't get out that way. So anyway, mm. we'll have to figure it out. Because I feel like if we went to Vogue Knitting, I would like a week. Maybe Vogue Knitting's in the middle. So we do a few things there It would be super and fun after. to, like, see some shows I while we're there. I would see a there. show. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Joad. Okay. Well, I love that plan. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Next year, 2024, is the year of VKL New York. Wow. Okay, do you want to know something really exciting that we're doing? And maybe you guys can oh. join? Oh, my God. Okay, take it away. When people say, like when I say to you, how was your week? And it's always same old, same old. This week has been amazing mm-hmm. because we got the chance to book a trip. Mm-hmm. And we get to go to Montana in June to hang out with the Farmer's Daughter Fivers retreat that they're having at this stunningly gorgeous lodge let me let me say three words cowboys and knitting uh yeah and listen candace is so much better at telling us all about what's going on she is alive on her instagram feed and she has her own youtube channel and her latest video that just popped up she shared all the amazing things about this retreat it is it is a relaxation in the gorgeous Montana. Montana is directly south of Alberta. Mm-hmm. So it's, it looks like Alberta. Like it's got huge mm-hmm. mountains and big blue skies. And it's so beautifully untouched. Like where you, we are is going to be sort of out in the middle of the rural area, right? So you're, it's not in a big city. It's gorgeous um, Rip's scenery. Gonna be, Rip's going to be there. Right. We're basically going to Yellowstone knitting. Okay. So I hope they're ready. So there's going to be optional yoga. There's yeah. lots of places to walk. There's places to gather and knit. 
We would love it if you could join. We're going. Candace was talking about how great the food is at this lodge. Candace is hosting us. Candace. Candace. Yeah. Is amazing. She. I mean, we've been dying to go down to Great Falls to vi- just visit the Farmer's Daughter Fibers brick and mortar. It's, to me, one of the most beautiful looking yarn shops. Okay. Ever. And Candace is just this person that I just think is the sweetest. Yeah. She's wonderful and... Mm-hmm. I love everything they do that's related to mm-hmm. Farmer's Daughter Fiber. So it was a pretty easy yes. Thank you. I can't even Good morning, wait. Star. Yes. Um, but really just, we, my husband's family used to have a house in Montana. So I have spent a significant amount of time. It's stunningly gorgeous. It is yeah. such a beautiful place to be. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be this retreat with people that love knitting and great food and we they, we get on a bus and go into town and not like the city bus she rents a party yeah, bus yeah all the knitters pile in and we go into farmer's daughter and hang out at the shop and then we do a yarn dyeing class yeah okay you guys there's three dates this year there's yeah. a june i believe there's an august yeah. and maybe september october october yeah so we have been invited guests for june so we're going to be in june so if anyone would like to join us amanda i'm pointing the finger at you you have to come join amanda amanda that would be amazing like get, more than amazing quickly go do it now we are and what the thing i love about them is they're not a huge it's no. not a huge group of how people. many people um, I think they're, she said they're different, different um, amounts or, or n- numbers of people. But this June one is somewhere between 20 and 30 <gasps> people. Amanda, get on that. So, yeah, always if you're interested in these things, the sooner the better. Um, Farmer's Daughter Fiber website has detailed information on do. the whole thing and a link to sign up. And I just feel still, I still feel like. I remember when we couldn't go anywhere and we couldn't, we didn't have the opportunity to hang out at all in any of these ways with the community that we love. And so I'm over the moon excited to Mm -hmm. go and see somewhere I've wanted to see, like hang out with Candace and all the knitters of Montana. I really, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I'm doing all the yoga. I'm doing the yoga. Are you? Yes, I'm doing it. Fucking good girl. Mountain yoga. Anyway, it's like, okay, she said brunch. I'll do yoga. Hanging out with knitters. Excellent food and scenery and people. And there is some kind of an event that has something to do with cowboys. I don't know. My mind went blank after that because it was just like, yes. Just yes. Oh, my God. I love it so So much. So all the details you can find um, through the Farmer's Daughter Fibers website. You can, I really think you guys should, would love mm-hmm. to subscribe to Candace's YouTube channel. Yeah. She's super chatty. She shows tons of knitting and tons of great things. Did you say about the yarn dyeing? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thanks for listening. No, no. I, Again. I was like, I was stuck on Cowboy. Um, I know. You said Cowboy? We and went, I couldn't think. But just the idea of the, di- I know we were doing a day trip in yeah. on the bus, but just the whole idea of seeing her shop and spending time yeah. in Great Falls yeah. and and honestly, it's in a location where that's enough. Like, if you mm. literally want to park yourself on the porch, on a chair, and just knit the whole time, that's going to be enough because mm-hmm. the scenery, the area that you're going to be in is just breathtakingly gorgeous. Like, it's so – it's just like when we drive up to the mountains here. You're instantly relaxed. Mm-hmm. As soon as you get into the mountains, you're like, I love this. This is just so special. I cannot wait. So it's it to me sounds like a perfect mm-hmm. four days. Mm-hmm. It's going to be tons of unscheduled time. Yes. So I think that's the premise is like yeah. relax and make it your own. You don't yeah. have to go for walks. You don't have to do no. anything. But it's going to be. Yeah. 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 So and we're going to bring down Canadian snacks. We're going to bring things that they don't Ketchup have. Ketchup chips. They don't have in the U.S. Coffee crisp chocolate. We're going to pack a little um, care package and we're bringing it down for whoever, whoever would God, like it. Your hair is so cute. You just got, I got a hair cut. color. Yeah, it's I did. really cute. Thanks, Joe. Whoever's been cutting it is really doing a good job. Betty. I Betty. love Betty. I actually think I might try Betty. I super love her. She is sweet and 
at, by the time we're done haircutting, I'm just like, oh, that was such a fun chat. Okay, good. She's I'm going to try thing. Betty. Yeah. Um, and it's like two minutes from our house, which really? I love. Yeah. Okay, so um, my dog may need labiaplasty. <laughs> Jody, that's not real for dogs. Yes. She has an infection, just the way her anatomy is. It, she, it Are, is this for real? Tracy, who, I, out of all the people I can't that, make dog, that up. Yes. This could be. Listen, if the dog gets vag rejuvenation <laughs> before me, there's a problem. <laughs> Are you going to ask for like a package deal? Is there a two for do people? <laughs> no, she's Like, not. how veterinary oh specific God. is this? Um, ew, and that's yeah. to poor doggy. Right, right. That's what the vet said? Yeah, me. If this doesn't clear up, we're on a second round of antibiotics. Just the way the anatomy is. Oh. Yeah. It may be trapping. Anyway, sorry. I just. Yeah, that's a giant bummer. So this is who? Sandy Lane vet. No, which dog? Oh, Dakota. They're both girls. Okay. Yeah. That's too bad, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> and just like. <laughs> you what? Know, the Hutch. whole. Listen, every time I go to the vet, part of me. Is is internally cringing because I you yes. just never know yeah. what you're gonna yeah. get from them, and then this that's kind of crazy. Didn't no. even know they did that. Okay, you know what my newest uh, fun I okay I've always adored a game show. Totally right, yes. like Game Show Network. Yes, please. But now throw a celebrity on a game show. Oh, Jody, that's like crack for me. Celebrity Jeopardy. I mean, I watched the Wheel of Fortune too, but Celebrity Jeopardy makes me feel like <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> I know they dumb it down a little. It's, now, maybe not a time. I don't know. Because Do I they? also watch regular Jeopardy right. and I'm just like, I you don't feel no. so smart. So, so I, maybe they have a real people version and a this is for real, the mm -hmm. real version. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jeopardy's amazing. You know it's who's such a fun show? Uber smart and ridiculously funny? The Roots. This uh, the whole band? No, isn't he just Quest? either Quest Love. I love Quest Love. He, you guys, his. I'm I don't not know if anyone's ever he's... heard him, but he went into a German accent. Was that it whole? I love yeah. the Roots in general. Mm -hmm. I mean. That's is that on right now? Mm. Yeah, I, I think we're almost it. to the final round, but then it's going to go again. Yeah. Okay. Well, I do love. I'm to all over that. I'm yeah. all over the hundred thousand dollar pyramid with the celebrity. I'm all right. over. Right. Password. Oh, that's the Kiki? show I'd want to go on. Yes. Yeah. That's so funny. Um, knitting. Yeah. Somebody's <laughs> like, "Hello, can you talk about knitting?" Um. All right. Somebody said that. Yeah. No, <laughs> you're not the boss of me. And this is fun. This is a glimpse into what Jody was like as a kid. Yeah, all over the place. Somebody also said, what about Knit City Montreal? Listen, if you can make it happen and go to Knit City Montreal, put it to the top of your list and have a blast. Sadly, we will not be there. The, the only... Ti timing is impossible. It's not even a gray area. I cannot be two people at once. I cannot. Yeah. If we can figure out how to clone me... Yes. The only month in the 12 months that Tracy is unavailable yeah. without room for movement is May. I could have gone the first weekend in May. Yeah. But the where, the locate And you know what? So what? It doesn't Everybody's work gonna for have, everybody. It does. Right? It can't work for everybody. I'm going. <laughs> no. I did say to Jody, you should go. You and Amber should go. No. It's um, like. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not one without the other, really. I wouldn't be bitter a lot. <laughs> for long. <laughs> right. I wouldn't hold a grudge for right. very long. Right. Um, no, no, seriously, though. I would never. No, I know. If you want to go, you should go. Can you see me going without you? No, it would be no, horrible. I wouldn't. Um. Anyway, it's a great show. We had such a good time. I'm yeah. so glad we went last year. Yeah. Yeah. And so we'll be at Knit City in the fall, Mount Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Even though I really loved Montreal. You guys, we have two retreats. I'm feeling like I'm very lucky. Listen, 2023 so far? 10 mm -hmm. out of 10. <laughs> Would highly recommend. Yeah. Five-star review. Um, Except for the rejuvenation. That wasn't right. planned. But, right, right, right. Um, okay. I, I think those two, I mean, it's shaping up to be a great first six months. Oh, 
Totally. Right? Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. Um, somebody said you can come be her, her sister. Mm. Um, so sweet. She's a lot to handle. I'm yeah. going to be honest. You probably much, would boot her out after day one. Yeah. Um, but you're wearing something amazing. I feel like you should share with us. <gasps> okay, you guys. We I have showed... to get, it, get into it. I showed this last time. I'm jelly. I totally want one of these. I'm going to make one. Yeah. This is the Northwoods. Yeah. V. Yeah. I got it. You did. Um, Northwoods V. It is, uh, Jesse made, um, it was originally done in stripes. Mm -hmm. It is a boxy, relaxed fit. It's got a drop shoulder with set in sleeves, which means, um, I don't think that's called set in sleeves. It does it say that. No, but I think it's not what I understand to be. No. Isn't set in sleeves. It's where it's like right on your shoulder line here. Yeah. I thought that was this just is a technique. This is oh, drop this shoulder. This is drop shoulder. So you're yeah. Okay. There you That's go. That's the way I understand it. It kind of makes sense. So I'm just going to stand up here. Okay. And give you the full. Oh. The yes. full Monty. Um, it's, Jody. It's see, so It's good. got all that extra ease here that just makes it just the perfect v-neck sweatshirt i you guys i the v is very shallow for anyone who needs a little bit more modesty that is totally what's calling my name or doesn't like this is quite exaggerated meaning that it's a it. big and you know what you guys you could even knit a little bit more to make it a even a little bit you can uh, yeah, you can make the ribbing whatever you want yeah, just but i do love the depth of that ribbing it just gives a really nice border to this slouchy yeah. sweater. So yeah. the, the the bottom hem, the cuffs, and this, they're all kind of like anchoring this awesome sweater. Okay. This was knit for me um, by Sheila. Sheila awesome. knit this for me. But here's the thing. It's hard to tell what, without trying it on. Right. That it's going to be like the right length. You kind of know how much ease you like. But just by looking at the pattern... And because it's drop shoulder. Right. You don't knit a lot of drop shoulder. Right. You're knitting. So I had to perform surgery. Oh my God. After I got the sweater. This is how much I added. Three inches. Almost three inches. Oh wow. So I had um because it it's a crop you would sweater. Never know. No, it's a crop sweater, you guys. And here's something I've never done. So I this it was Perfectly sized everywhere else, but it ended up, when I tried it on, being not as long as I would have liked. Right. So I had picked up all of the stitches, one needle, and then left a row, and then picked up all of the stitches with another needle. And just like um, a cut-in heel, mm -hmm. you snip, and, and I took off the, the bottom ribbing. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. And... So you can decide. Do you want to just like unravel your bind no. off and unravel the, or so, cause you're still going to have to knit three inches and then do the ribbing. So if you just rip out, if you frog your ribbing, mm -hmm. you're going to have to do three inches of knitting plus your ribbing. Mm -hmm. This way, all you had to do was three inches of knitting and then graft the, it together. Okay. Some people hate grafting. I Some Kitchener. people would rather do, um, they would rather do the ribbing oh, it over. That's so funny. And I would suggest, I, I picked up one row above the ribbing. Like, if you can at all put it somewhere, because it, it may be slightly different and you can kind of see. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So make sure it's all the stockinette, the, the knit stitches that you're The knit up. stitches and close to the ribbing. Plus that's... So it's not like... It's right so much easier to graft that way. Yeah. You're, where you're grafting your knits to your knits. I did a steam, a really heavy steam block. I sprayed it and steamed it. I'm going to actually soak it. But Jody looks so good already. Yeah, you guys. You I must am, be so happy with it. I am so happy with it you guys i can't even tell you that tweedy yarn is a giant obsession yeah. like i love this is hedgehog fibers yes that we were talking about in their tweedy so this is the original right this is the one that came out first so this is the undyed base yes and then they came out with noir where they dye the, the base yes. black so they, the they came out with different colors yeah. as they went so now yeah. you can get a bunch of different colors yeah. and we actually have one today that we get to share with mm -hmm. you but I love, like, if they had stayed natural and noir, I would have been 
still thrilled. Yeah. But I do love the colors that are coming out that they've got on the this one, oh. Jody. Wait till you see this one. Really? Yes. I actually yeah. You will so love it. This sweater, it's unbelievably it was knit with love by Sheila. And I, I She's felt an amazing I knitter. felt bad, but then I thought, no, she'd want me to just do this and get it the right. She length. did exactly what you asked. It was identical. Perfect. It was yeah. perfect, and she, you know, I can't actually, help it that you don't know what you want. I actually almost didn't mention that I did this. I didn't want to make her feel bad. No, why would it make her feel bad? She did right. exactly what you asked. I guessed at what needle she used. I just used the same needle that was in the pattern. It's a DK sweater. Okay. Yeah. So okay, well, I love it. I, I Jody, it's amazing. You're gonna yeah. wear that so much. And now because it's not cropped to a, um, a length that you're not comfortable with, you're now you'll wear it so much. Like you could have yes. like what's the I could have. What's the point in keeping a sweater cropped that doesn't make you feel good? That's the whole reason. Listen, we, we knit for ourselves. Yeah, this was too good oh. not to extend it. No I could kidding. have worn it of one or two. T- I could have worn it here with a longer leg, and I thought. I just no. won't wear it all the time. It's not you. It wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. So now you fixed. Love that. Yeah. Well, I do love it. So today I'm wearing my Night Bloom sweater, which I love. Mm-hmm. It is kind of cropped. Speaking of cropped, it is cropped. And part of that reason is I was knitting and finishing it on a car trip. So I couldn't really try it on and decide. So I bound off. Do you off. feel like it's cropped when you put it on? Oh, for sure. It's too cropped. much? Yeah. Not oh. too much, but I have limited ways to wear it. Yeah. So I love it, but I totally want to knit this again. This is um, a free pattern so by not with- Sonder Yarn. Yeah. It's knit in their Sunday morning DK, and now the base has the, the Ecru colors as well. There's a gajillion colors to choose from. And the color work is double-stranded mohair. I could not love this anymore. I wear it a ton. Um, the bind-off on mm. the body and the cuffs is just double-stranded mohair, which... <gasps> oh, I love that. So you didn't even knit around. Actually, I know that they have kits in the shop right now for they should, Night Blooms. You know what? I will. I want to knit another one of these. Same I, color? No, no, different, different color. Different color. Um, but I love it so much. It's a round no, yoke sweater, so... I actually think with this motif... A, it's a really pretty motif. Because aren't most color work yokes a round neck? No, the opposite. A round yoke. Yes, yes. Sorry, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Most are the round neck yoke. Lots are, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's pretty typical. Anyway. You know what I didn't bring? My knitting. You did not. Yeah. You have not any one knitting to share? No. But I have tons of other stuff. Okay. Are you serious? I only had one. I only worked on my sweater, you guys. So it's not okay. like I had a million things. Okay. Well, I have a little Can bit of knitting. Because belie- when Listen. you said a crew, I was going to show my... Yeah. Listen, I'm pretty happy. I'll share my knitting. I don't have a lot of knitting, but I also don't need to be here for three hours. Jody. Um, Okay, so I have an FO. And I would normally be wearing it, but it's not for me. So. I feel like this came together and off your needles very fast. Jody, less than a month. Cast on December 28th, finished January 25th. So I did finish my husband's uh, first sweater. This is the God. men's classic raglan by Jane Richmond. You did not fan. It. Did you do a heart? No, it's just a piece of yarn. Just the way it is. It looks like a heart. I know. That's cute, so right? That's so cute. Yeah. It is cute. Um, the yarn is Barrett Wool in their Wisconsin Woolen Spun Worsted mm. in the color Pebble. You guys, it's, it's so Squishy. Like, doesn't this feel great? It's, it's very soft. cozy. Is it non superwash? Yeah. Oh, before I forget, is Patton's Croy Sock Machine Wash yep. and Dry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. It's a hardware. Okay. I, yeah. I, I, sorry, you guys. I just no, had to because I. It is. Okay. It is. This, you guys, we've talked about Barrett Wool before, but this bounce on this yarn yeah. makes. A beautiful fabric. Listen, it is such a nice feeling sweater. Yeah. It it says it, it is worsted weight. It is a heavier worsted weight than the pattern called for. So my gauge was off and I had to fuss a little bit. Did I did I talk about this how yeah, I did. I talked about sleeves last time. How I only I had to rip back and I ended up picking yeah. up only half the number of stitches under the mm-hmm. arm, which took like two inches off. Because eight stitches was two inches. 
Mm. So it was a big gauge. Anyway, it turned out awesome. He wore it for days, like every day after it got finished. But his sleeves were too short. He doesn't like bracelet legs. Right. He's so picky. And I was like, <laughs> guess what? It's done. Yeah. And I mean, we had tried them on. But I guess we had his arm at a weird, like, whatever. It just did yeah. not really work. Yeah. So you talk about sweater surgery. That's exactly what I did. So I am sort of, I finished. It's a good demo. It is. So yesterday I did exactly, what's that? Oh, I did exactly what you did. I picked up a row of knitting down here. This is the row that I picked up. And I picked up this row of knitting and on a different needle. And so I knit up this many rows and grafted kitchener stitched all so the way around. you picked it up, picked it up, picked up, so, and then cut it off. Yeah. So here's what I did. I've got my working needle here mm -hmm. and this needle I'm going to hold stitch. My stitches will be on hold because I'm going to graft them later together. So I'm going to, I snipped one stitch and started unwinding that one row of knitting right here. We're only removing one row of knitting. So when you Kitchener stitch, you're basically replacing that row of knitting. Yes. So you're putting that one back in. So I had to add seven stitches of knitting plus my Kitchener stitch is what oh, I it's did. Be so much. You did, okay, here's another question. You didn't feel like you could block an inch out? I did that. Oh, okay. Because he said, what's this blocking thing you talk about mm, when he sure. tried it on? And I said, I didn't think it would work. It did for the day. But the one of the most amazing things that I love about wool is that it's got memory. Does it really? Yes. That's why it doesn't stretch out. Your real wool sweaters are not going to stretch out and go crazy like some like My super washy kind blown. of thing. So that is one of the beautiful things about wool. When you've knitted on a certain needle to a certain size, it's got memory. So you can only block it so much before it kind of comes back a little. Ten years in. So let me tell you, it blocked. And that day he was like, yeah, that's perfect. It's great. The next day, no. So I kind of suspected that. And you know what? It only took me so if I block maybe an hour all in to do this. Yes. To remove it and, gra and knit and graft. I, you know what? It's funny. It's I would, not going to take Some long. people are probably like, why would, like, yeah, you just, I would just pull it out. Anything not to do the ribbing again? Oh, it's way fast. This is, I'm not kidding you. This way is faster. way fast, yeah. especially on 52 stitches. Like yeah. your sweater, that's a lot of stitches. That was a lot of stitches. So you must be, you know, you're either going to get really comfortable with Kitchener Stitch or you are comfortable with it. And I love grafting. I love it It's too. one of my favorite things. That's why this sewn bind off, this Italian sewn bind off, it's basically Kitchener Stitch flat. Mm. You will love I will love it. Yeah, you yeah. will love it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm going to finish this. I had him try it on last night. Now it is exactly perfect. Oh, that's so nice. And part of the thing was, I was all like freaking out a little bit because he's like, his pet peeve is way too long sleeves. Oh. When yes. I was like, so you were, like, how do you want yeah. this to fit? Where do you want it to land on, you know, the bottom and your sleeves? And he goes, it, I just, I hate sleeves that are way too long. Yeah, Zach said he's also tried the bind off and loves it. Oh, it's awesome. It is I, awesome. I, remind me, I got to do that on my other sweater. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it so much with like mohair and I wouldn't do the bind off with the sequins. I would just not be using the sequins. Exactly. Yeah, but the bind off itself, if you love Kitchener Stitch, you're going to love yeah. this. Yeah, totally Also, awesome. sometimes I, I don't, if I'm holding mohair with something, I'll sometimes I don't use the mohair. I don't either, actually. Sometimes that two strands when you're binding off you're can be never fussy. gonna know you're never no. gonna know that that mohair is not there yeah and it is way nicer knitting experience mm. to not be using it for those kind of I things agree. um so and the so the color work on this sweater you guys is modification <gasps> so if you Good go morning. if you go looking for this sweater it is an amazingly classic like canvas this plain beautiful raglan sweater I cannot recommend it enough it had so many sizes and it was written it was the clearest maybe one of the clearest patterns I've ever knit from because it's done in a way where you fill in the blanks with your size so you don't have rows of 10 like 10 
numbers mm -hmm. to deal with, mm -hmm. right? Um, Yvonne thinks it's Aww, awesome. Hi, Yvonne. Anyway, it was really a pleasure to knit from. Yeah. I am 100% going to make him another one with the right gauge. Then yeah. it's going to be even easier to knit from. Okay, you guys, I feel like not doing the Italian because I'm lazy. It, oh, no. It's it's so close to kitchen. It is okay. kitchener flat I'm is the way it. I think of it. I'm so this it. color work band came from the um, Fair Isle, 200 Fair Isle Motifs book by Mary Jane Mucklestone. And I used Brooklyn Tweed Loft Held Double. And I do have a Ravelry Project page with so many notes. You guys will not need to message me about anything, I promise. Um, and I did helical knitting. So I had two balls of yarn attached Look at you. the whole time. I'm really, I know we've talked about it. I'm really determined to get a sweater episode on for you guys. It will happen. I just think it's because it, for me, just the knowledge combined because we've knit so many sweaters. I know for me, when I was a newer knitter, right? Even like me, like like you telling me about the wool with the memory, right? And then the Italian bind off. We're still learning as makers. I would have totally. loved finding an in depth sweater, and I'm sure there was. I just didn't know about it. Right. I feel like we need to just do it. Yeah, yeah. I would love to. Yeah, do it. we just got to come together a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Well, you and I have to talk about what it is we want to talk about. Yeah, and each. Um, because, yeah, I feel like we do something every time because now we're just addicted. Like, literally, we cast off a sweater, we cast on a sweater. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, when I was down to here, I'm already thinking, what am I going to cast on? Yes. And I'm on Ravelry looking up yes. patterns and figuring out yarn and stuff. So... Anyway, my husband is thrilled. <coughs> Jody, Shane would love. Do you think he would like a sweater or no? Yes. Yeah. So I would highly recommend. This was a 16 stitch gauge, five millimeter needle. He would not care. Right. But it, it goes fast. He, I'm talking about yes. me. Like how Oh, much, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, me too. I don't want it to be on my needles forever. No. And I was very. Is 15 millimeter too big? Right. <laughs> Have you heard of Loopy's how Mango? How big is too big? <laughs> no. And I mean, you don't have to rush it either. Okay, you guys, um, left turn. To Dicky or to not Dicky? Jody, we're going to talk about Dickies today. I don't know. Okay. We're, okay. That was I'm just going to pose that question. To Dicky or not to Dicky? People put a pin in it. We're coming back. We're, we're going to come back. They call them callers now. No, Jody. they're Dicky. I know what they are. <laughs> you can't fool me. Just like a like people call it a bum bag or whatever, a crossbody yeah, 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 bag. Yeah, yeah. It's still a fanny pack. Well, not in England, apparently. Right. <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And I actually have yarn that I purchased for one of those. So we can totally chat about it. Okay. Um, I want to pop in here. Um, I was late to this train because we're on season two. And I mentioned to you the other I day. I started yesterday. Ginny and Georgia on Netflix. It's really cute. It is so cute, you yeah. guys. If anyone's looking just for a fun, lighthearted, It's like a family film. drama. Yeah. With this, the mom is 30. She had her daughter at 15. And it's kind of like. Can I just say, they, I think the mom should look slightly older. She looks about 25. She's gorgeous. So the whole time I'm watching it, I'm going, I'm just not quite buying mm. the relationship. They literally look like schoolmates, mm. almost. Like, she looks like a big sister. Um, there's a I little feel like bit she could have like, looked slightly older. Yeah, there's a little bit of, like, dark, kind of, like, because she's got a bit of a past. Yeah, I'm enjoying light. it very much. I'm on episode nine of season one, and season two came out fairly recently so okay yeah it's so good i um i love it i watched a couple episodes yesterday and i love the dynamic between the mom and mm. the daughter and their situation and it reminds me of like a sitcom like a not a sick not a comedy comedy but those dramas that were like a dramedy because yeah. there's that element yeah. of that yeah but it's still very light and so anyway it's yes. so good yeah yeah so I'm not into it all the way. I don't really know. Oh, season two takes a dark turn. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You know, there are lots of topics that can be heavy. But when I say they, tr they, some of it's really light and some of it's like. Somebody's saying, is it like a Gilmore Girls? I didn't really watch Gilmore Girls, but I would imagine it to be like that. Mm -hmm. It is a mother-daughter drama. But then there's also serious topics. And then they both have their own things going yeah. on. 
Anyway. Yeah. So good. I enjoyed the first couple of episodes. Yeah. I'm going to keep watching it. Yeah. So good. Um, I can't believe you have no knitting. I literally... So let's just okay. zoom through my knitting. Or do you want to do something? Go for it. I just... No, no, no. Show something. What on earth is that? Jody? I'm ready this week. Oh, my God. I don't have... Oh. We don't have to share all of these, but I do have some things no, I want to talk it's about. It's like... Um, Tracy, you need to be pumping out more patterns because you your about? creativity with socks and stuff like that is ridiculous. They're so funny. Tiff Nealon came out with a new pattern today. I know. It's called... I also just bought the Jessie May one. Did you see that? Yes. Okay, good. The deep rib. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to okay. pull it up. This is beautiful. So this is Tiff Nealon's. I, oh, I meant to do that this morning, you guys. Um, let me just tell you. Do you want me to find it yeah. for you? Yeah, I don't okay. know what it is, but you guys, this is mohair. <gasps> no way. Or held with mohair for the for the ribbing. I think mohair okay. is in there. It's called the travel sweater. Yeah. And she wanted to create a wardrobe staple effortless piece for like weekend getaways. Um, you can get it on a discount right now, you guys. So follow her. They use superwash DK paired with a lace weight Surrey. So it Surrey in probably here. double stranded Surrey. Are you serious? That's going to be so cozy. I, I love the shape of it. What's this around the neck? What's that though? That looks like a really pretty. I think it's Surrey. I think up here oh, and the ribbing. Surrey with it I think you're parts. adding Surrey into here. I like this lateral braid detail she's got there. She loves those and I love the way she puts them in. Oh, look at their shoulder. Look at her shoulder. You guys, this might be my favorite this Tiffany Lynn pack. This has some really pretty details that you just yeah. you're kind of like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. She's had... That's as, really pretty. Yeah, absolutely. I can't with this sweater. Ah! Oh my God, that scared me. Okay, guys. how about this? I had a DM open in my Instagram, and then I'm starting to have this really serious conversation with Georgia in the kitchen, and the dictation was on. If this got sent, I, I just, I un. You select all and then delete. Yes, but I said to this person that I was messaging, I was like, Oh my God, I hope that didn't come through because it would have been really wild. And then she's like, oh, I totally, she said, I was once listening to like a murder podcast and my dictation was on and I, it got sent to like a friend, a new friend that didn't know I was into these oh murder. It was kind of funny. Anyway, sorry. Um, Love. Travel obsessed. sweater. Travel Love. sweater. Tiffany Lynn. Okay, so all that cozy Surrey. Do you know what that, that is going to feel Okay, mohair can be a beautiful substitution. If if you don't need to go buy yarn, mohair would be just Oh, you gorgeous. could totally interchange them. But if you... Surrey soft. It's so soft. And I just can't get enough of that. Cozy stuff. Jody, I love it. Yeah. Um, What's that? This is another Tiffany one. I think I, oh. I may have shown it before. Oh, I love that. But this is the Notions Pullover. And it's DK held with fingering. So it's a bulky sweater. But this pattern, you guys, has so it's a raglan top down. Tiff says Neil uh, Tiff has knit this as a short sleeve, but in the pattern, there's lots of modification ideas. I wore my short sleeve sweater last week. I can't even tell you how much I love, even in winter. I love this. How cute is that? Yes. Right with your long sleeve t-shirt. Yes. Let me tell you, if you don't have a short sleeve sweater. Knit one and see what you think. I bet you you're going to love it. Love it so much. I love all of Tiff's patterns. And you guys, it's got a little duplicate stitch heart. And our raglan along started yesterday. This is like a legit, we are in it to win it knit along. Oh, this isn't raglan. But this is. We are both knitting raglan sweaters, right? Yeah. So we hope everybody casts on any raglan, any kind, any size like kids whatever i crochet, promise i'm knitting one crochet knit jody's in and apparently I she's gonna drop believe... into ravelry oh my god we don't believe that yet but right. we'll see but um it's on and the threads are open and yes. it's three months yeah. so you can knit something at a big gauge even if you're say i'm never gonna get the sweater done i promise a short sleeved you. bulky yeah right yeah and um, yeah like lento mm -hmm. and speaking of lento there's a lento knit along going on you can 
double dip, I believe, in both of them. Yes, Yvonne, cast on a raglan. Totally. They're such, I find them to be like really relaxing knitting. Top down, you can, if things are going sideways or not fitting, you can change as you go. Um, I love them. There's also the bougie sweatshirt knit along, which when I heard that, I thought to myself, that is me. That is Ooh, what I like to knit. That, that's what this is. That's what I like to knit. <coughs> Bougie sweatshirts. Mohair and surrey. And, but I want it to fit me like a sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. So those knit alongs oh. are probably ones you can also knit right. one sweater and join. Mm -hmm. um, and that one, Bougie Sweatshirt, is through the Young Folk Knits podcast. Lento Along is through... Um, Amy Palco, Meaningful Stitch, and Rebecca of the Crea Bea podcast. Those okay, two nice. ladies are in Edinburgh. Love that. And yeah, love that. Kind of awesome. Oh, there we go. Amy's right there. She said it's the Let's Lento Cal and double dipping is a okay. Love that. So, Thanks. and let me tell you, the Lento, my yes. yellow sparkle sequin one is Lento. I'm mm -hmm. totally knitting another Lento. Mm -hmm. It's one like the Love Note where it's at a really big gauge and knits up super fast. Beautifully written. You can heart. kind of like hold two fingering together or DK in mohair, like whatever you want to get your gauge. Yeah. And it knits up lickety split. It's kind of it's awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. I love that. So we're in our raglan knit along. I hope people join. I do too. Yeah. And end of April, we'll draw some prizes. Yeah. And uh, it's also on Instagram. So if you're not a Ravelry person, we will draw a prize from the hashtag. What? We have a hashtag. We have a hashtag. Who the hell are we? What is it? It is GG Raglan Along 23. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. What's this? I can't wait to see what this is. Totally. This? Is it, are you ready for that? Sure. Okay, this is Sock Talk. Sock, sock Talk. The only sock in Sock Talk this week. Do you remember when the lovely folks at John Arbin sent us the beautiful yarns and you knit Shane's hat and I knit the gloves? They also sent one of their about to be released colors of Exmoor sock. Was it? Do they have this sock? But this is a new color. This 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 base, this Exmoor sock, mm -hmm. is not brand new. But they just released four brand new colors last Friday. Mm. So this is one of them. This is the cool. I love this red. It's called Peggle. It's so good. It's such a good red. It kind of leans warm. It's not a dark bluey red. It's a really good red. It's kind of, what would you call that? Like strawberry red? I don't know what that is. You're the yarn dyer. It's such a good red. Yeah. It's I don't warmer know. than it is blue, right? I God, love it. I love that. And That's they, John Arbin also has a YouTube channel. And they put up a video last week talking all about Exmoor sock so you can see you know the fluffy fiber that they blend oh, that's so nice and then you see it go through all their mill machines and then it is dyed after the fact yeah it's very tomatoey it is a tomato maybe that's why i love it yeah tomatoey i'm a tomato i'm a tomato person so, so i made a pair of socks oh. with those are so cute. I mean, let's not go too crazy. I did crank them on my sock machine. But, so they've got a little folded hem. And then I... But that at the toe. I don't know what I was... I just thought, oh, I'm going to do... So this this gray is also Exmoor sock. It's called Mizzle. This is the un this? undyed base. Oh. So that yarn looks like this after they spin it before they dye it. That's okay. the base color. Um, so I knew I was going to do that for the heels. And and I thought the toe. But then I was like, this is such a good red. I'm going to pop. I'm going to make a pop. I'm doing a pop. So I put a little duplicate stitch heart on the heel. This is something from my boombox sock pattern. I just think it's really cute on the back of a sock. I think anytime you add those little touches. I love it. It makes it really special. I used Lollipop <gasps> from Frankie Gray Fibers. Yeah, you did. One of my all-time favorite colors of yarn. Um, and this was just like a sock, regular sock yarn, which I love. It's so funny. I had something to show and I thought, I hope Tracy's got Lollipop f around so I can show the contrast. I actually feel, oh, good. Well, duh, of course I do. Yeah. I feel like I need it on more bases. Yeah. Um, so I did a, a little stripe with gray and lollipop 
and ended up doing the toe in the red. I wonder what Peggle means. Peggle is this colorway. Yeah. Peggle. So they actually, when they release their new colors, there's a new pink. So if you wanted to do Exmoor Sock in all Exmoor Sock, you can get there. It's not a corally pink. It's a bit different. But I've always wanted to try this yarn. It is. Do you love it? It is Did you try washable. Them on? It's like, oh. it is washable yarn. Mm -hmm. I don't know that they would call it super wash, but it is not non-super wash yarn. It feels like it. It feels wooly in the best way. Yeah, not, yes. It feels wooly. <gasps> um, I love it. And this pair of socks, so this is 64 stitches, and I wear a ladies size 8-ish. It used 42 grams of the red. But a nine feels so good, you buy a 10? Right. <laughs> um, so 42 grams. Like, I've still got, I thought I would have less left. Okay. So it's still, like, I did the toes and a folded cuff. So really, that's about a three-inch leg. So a 50 gram gets you a nice pair of shorties. I think so. I love it. I if actually. If you use a contrast somewhere, like the heel. I don't, I could not use this to get two heels. Out of a 50 gram? Do you know what I mean? Like if I wanted to make these all red. Because you've got a folded hem and that takes up a little extra. Right. So because of, if you didn't, if you just knit your leg this long. Yeah. Without the fold, mm -hmm. you could get a pair out of 50 grams in yeah. this size. Yeah. But once you start getting bigger um, feet or longer legs or whatever, then you're going to need. Uh, so but cute. Aren't they cute? I'm excited to wear them. So thank you, John Arbin, for... The treat of some Exmoor sock. I actually have skeins of some original color. I just need to get working with it some more. I love that. I'll keep doing that. These feel wooly. These feel like a wool pair of socks. It, yeah, in the best and way, like And they you said. even have a teeny tiny bit of nylon in them. I believe it's oh. 10%. Oh, geez. These things are going to be amazing. Okay, so they are calling it superwash treated, even though it's not what we think of. It's not smooth like merino superwash right yeah it feels wooly which so I love. pat and croy is also superwash yeah it is but that's also not made with merino it's made with more rustic wool right yeah yeah because i sh shane we have not wa i keep meaning to ask you because shane has not washed his socks yeah. yet and you don't even have to for yeah. a long time this has actually got tons of blue face luster in it so that's oh, yeah. also another really Super tough. Durable. So I feel like these are going to be really tough wearing socks. Okay, but when you customize it like that. They're cute, right? They're adorable. Listen. It's those little added things. I love short socks too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Love super it. Super fun. Super love the yarn. I love this red. The red is This amazing. would make a phenomenal sweater. <laughs> Listen. Okay, where are we going? Do you know how I became a patron? Yes. Newton in. For yarn. Newton in? Yes. Did you get yarn? No, I fucking didn't get yarn. Why? Because I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, so you guys, it is gone. Okay. When you guys said it's gone in a blank, you were not playing. Like, it is, there's going to be another update for the public. I didn't realize you had to get in within, like, seconds. It's one of those timed things. Yeah. Like, you should get in right the minute. I'm like, last, I'm like, What? Okay, we'll try for April. No, for try for March. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Listen, I actually love having a mission. Like, when you get this yarn, it's going to be very satisfying. Mm, I don't know what I'm going to knit. I was going to say, you should plan something. Amanda checked out in two minutes. Oh. See? Yes. She was smart. Um, they had some very pretty colors. They had the prettiest blush pink. I saw that on Instagram. Oh. Um, it was very funny. I thought, oh, isn't that? Of course, they're so sold I'm out. So I'm planning on knitting. Um, I am. I'm starting another test knit. Mm -mm. A secret test. Oh. And so I'm planning colors. Okay. I only need one color. So let's see. But uh, you like know what when you're you doing? say blush, I just feel like, you know, I could knit in that family of I know. brownie, <sighs> clay, pinky yarn forever. But I can't have a closet of just that color sweater, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll... Oh, Tracy, yes, show you, you can. Later. Nah, I can't. Because I love this just as much. Mm -hmm. And I love my yellow one. Mm -hmm. I love a lot of colors. Mm -hmm. So anyway, later I'll if talk to you about it. If you share it, they won't tell anybody. What? Your test net. Okay. Um, okay, another sweater. Good thing I brought did homework last night. Okay. Oh my God, you guys. Just a sec. Jody's Tweety Yarn. 
I guess we can share this later too when we unbox our hedgehog fibers. But if you save your yarn bits, you can send them to Hedgehog for a, a coupon discount. Mm -hmm. It's all on it's their website. It's on their website. Yeah. But this is my bag, and I'm I'm not done yet. I don't know what it weighs. I wonder if they could tell you when your batch or not really. And I especially love like I specifically choose a bright yarn yes. for my um You should see my bag. For my sock machine waste yarn. Yes. Because I know it's going to go in here. So I'm doing my best to add like fluorescent pops to the, a batch that. of Tweety. Yeah. Pretty cool, hey? Oh, I love that so yeah. much. Anyway. Okay. Okay, Joe, what did you, what you got? The petite knitter has a new sweater out. Did I, you see? Again, huge fan of It's got all a little bit of, of a, a mock turtleneck. She knits cozy. Everything she she knits is cozy. This is Erin Waite. I, the reason, this is the, uh, one of the, I believe, probably her test knitters. Just because her pictures she was showing with overalls, and I right. wanted you to get a really good look. This is a stunning yoke. Uh, isn't this one where she used new in? Possibly. Uh, or I, or the man. It's Erin Waite. Okay, I don't know what. One, two, three, four, five. There's a main color and f you know what I love? I really a love a ton this. of colors in a in a yoke. There's well, five colors in this, and that's also a, a possibility of um, using a color changing yarn. Right, right. Like if you oh, don't want to invest yes. in that many colors, if you have anyway. Yeah, it's stunning the so way it, it is. That woman. Look at her. Like, her, she's just knit yeah. such a beautiful sweater. This is called And Lopey. looks incredible. Yeah. I love that chocolate brown main yes. color. Yes. That's another color I just, yeah. I love. I love. Yeah. I just haven't knit one with it yet. Yeah. Lori. That's stunning. I accidentally bought too much. New to Um I accidentally bought too much. <laughs> That's so but funny. that's sort of the way you feel when you're in those time checkouts. You you're panic. like, panic. Add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Okay. And Check also, out. like, I'll just, I'll deal with it later. Each batch is a batch. Like, once it's gone, yeah. it's gone. I didn't and know that. Yeah. It's that's not repeatable. Cool. I, I, I love it. I'm happy for a, um, a company to be, for people to be that excited about their stuff. Like, sheep to needles. Yeah. Operation is that what it they is? Seem yeah, it's a they, family business, right? Yeah, they yeah. seem. She seems lovely. Yeah, just like I imagine, like Hug, Huggy, who, I, who, who, Huga, Huga, way of living. Like her, she does lots of videos. I should be a patron because I. That's I something don't that mind. I, that's something that I really love and believe in. Right, like that's yeah. Because I couldn't the, get my yarn without the support of that's patrons. That's the grassroots of the wool industry, yeah. right? You're raising sheep and you're making this yarn and it just keeps the cycle going. And I yeah. love that. I love I, that. Yeah, I have so no, I should be a patron. For and I'm, like I'm not going to be one of those ones that um, take, uh, eliminate, cancels my patron when i am got my yarn. I'll just oh, continue. Oh, do that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I think that's okay. Like if they want to be in that just to get yarn and then they're out. But that actually okay. enabled me to get my spot for whatever reason. The, oh, the pay, there's a limited number of there's spots. There's a limited. Okay. Because when I sense. went the first time, there was nothing open. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, that is right. Right. Let somebody else have a chance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. somebody just said that they're they think the spots are sold out right now. Yeah. And that's okay. Um, okay, Jody. Show us more. I do have a whip. I cast on for our raglan along on the weekend. Because I was... Wow. I know. Because I didn't have... I was waiting to fix my husband's sleeves to show everybody on the video. So I was like, hmm, I guess I'm just going to start a new, uh, new sweater. And I started a cozy classic raglan because I love it. What other one have you knit in this? This... Cozy Classic? Yeah. My, the tomato on the vine was Cozy Classic. My green, the Brooklyn Tweed imbue was Cozy Classic. So this is, this okay. is Cozy Classic number That's three. That's got to be something you talk about in our sweater to show three totally different sweaters right. just by changing your yarn Jody. and stripes. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah, I love it. 
I do love it. Because sometimes I think for content, we should be choosing other patterns. But I also think there's so much value yes. in finding a pattern that you love and that fits perfectly and then just changing it each time. Yeah. To... And I mean, it doesn't mean that I don't swatch because now my yarn yeah. is different than last time. And I think my needle's even different than last time. But this beautiful yarn came wow. to us in the fall. This was a gift from Melissa and Tanya when they launched. So this is Sonder D DK in the Ecru when they mm. launched their Ecru line. This color is called Sleeping Beauty. And this is their Halo Mohair in the color Opera. I I've renamed I've, it. I don't know that I've seen this in person other than. I, you probably haven't. So it's basically after it came. It was, we were at Knit City, and then we went to Rhinebeck, and then it was, like, all this other stuff. And then I started knitting for Christmas. I knew that this was my next sweater this for myself. This is an amazing color for you. Look how it changes with the mohair. Like, it's, it deepens it. Yeah. And Look. there's that nuance in the mohair that the silk and the mohair take the color differently. Oh. It really, I'm just obsessed oh. with, wow. with the color that it came out and the fabric. The fabric. I don't. I don't know that I'll ever take it off. And that your blue that you're knitting with is also the ecru base, right? So you can get the difference between their bases. Is this one starts out quite a bit lighter as a natural. This is the natural base of Sunday Morning DK, and the natural base for the ecru is more like this. This yes. color. So when they put dye, even the same dye put on the two different bases is going to come out totally different. So this is. The lighter ecru. I, I, I would love to see it beside just to show you guys a comparison. Right. So Beautiful. I'm just, I think their color palette is Did amazing. Did you love this color as much on the original darker base? Yeah. So yeah, those are like, I, yeah. Okay. You I don't liked remember it what it's called. Okay. Yes. I have a very hard time picking colors in their shop because I think they do just a phenomenal job. Mm -hmm. um, so I chose Cozy Classic Raglan because I love the pattern and because of its size inclusivity. I saw this on Instagram. This is the Hackett sweater by um, Nina Ruth. And it just came out. And I purchased this pattern because it was... It has so many, look, it's like 20 something pages. It gives you options and they call it hacks. Obviously you can, she gives you, you can insert cables. You can change sleeves. You can change the neckline. You can change the body, the length. You can add stripes or you can make I-cord edges or ribbed. Like all of these things are in the one. Did you say V-neck or crew neck? Yeah. She's got. Uh, the neckline is on page 14. So it's kind of build your own adventure in a sweater form. Right. And you and I were talking about this pattern and how amazing it is. I had it printed to bring last time because I couldn't get over the incredible. This is the like value. a value. This is a workshop. It is. So that's what it looks like. And then you and I were like, well, it's not. It doesn't seem size inclusive. Right. And that was a giant bummer because that's something we're passionate about. And when you said, I'm going to message her, I did. I just said, because she had, we had reposted in our stories and she said, thanks for sharing. And I said, just a question is, are there going to be more sizes to yeah. accommodate for inclusivity? And she said, the hack for gauge, hack number two, gauge. So sh this pattern is at, um, it's this, it's original is 17 stitches per four inches or 10 centimeters. Okay. She's also got it at 19, which is a smaller gauge, a tighter fabric, um, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So you can knit this. The pattern includes five different gauges of yarn. So instead of you and I, you know, I've knit Cozy Classic Raglan. It's an 18 stitch gauge. I've knit it at a 16 stitch gauge. We have to do a little bit of math. That's included in this sweater. The math part? Well, if my swatch measures 16 inches, now I just follow okay. the 16 inch. So, but here's the thing. If I want, if I end up getting my gauge at 16 stitches, I'm not going to get a big enough size. I'm still, I understand the math okay. and changing your gauge. But if you knit this sweater at 15 stitches. Right. 
you will get up to a 61 inch bust circumference. So there is a way to use this pattern. Yes. To be size inclusive. Yes. And I didn't know that. I understand that, but I want to have the size inclusivity when I'm knitting on, on 19 one. stitches. Right. I want the size inclusivity on every single gauge. Well, I don't That's know. That's when it's truly size inclusive. No, I don't know that I agree with that. And it's not that I disagree with it either, but I also feel like there's so much value in a sweater that's giving you pattern for this many gauges. But I know what you mean. I Say you have DK and you want to knit it at 19 stitches. If you're not, I'm not going to find my size. You're not going to be able to use this pattern. Yeah. See, for certain sizes. Yeah. I love. I see what you mean. And they're really so there are five sizes included in each gauge. I see what you mean. There I, could be. Listen, there could be. More. I could. I could not knit my sweater in the size with the ease I like. Right. With this pattern. Yeah, yes, you could. No, but not at 15 stitches. I had 18 stitches. Right. I see where you're going. Yeah. I see where you're going. It is inclusive gauge-wise, right? Like if you want a 61-inch sweater, you have to be knitting at 15 inches. Exactly. 15 stitches. Right. And yes, I do. other than everything. I still think it's an amazing pattern. I don't disagree that it's an yeah. amazing pattern. Listen, I give it... Eight out of ten stars. It would be really nice. It would nice. be ten out of ten if I could knit yeah. any of these gauges yeah. up to a sixty-two or I whatever agree. a large. I agree. But listen, that. I I printed this, you guys. I cannot tell you the information yeah. and the. I do agree with that. The incredible pattern that she has put out, and perhaps that will happen in the future. I I would love yeah. to see that update where you mm -hmm. get more than five sizes per gauge. Mm -hmm. I agree. I'm not small. I agree. So I'm not knitting a 48 in uh, 48 here's the, inch sweater. Here's the thing: it's only to the benefit of the designer to have yeah. that inclusivity across yeah. the board of the gauge, because this could literally be a pattern you knit for yourself a dozen times, so, but differently. Yeah. So if you could find your size in every gauge, you could knit it in DK. You could knit it in worsted. You could knit it in. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. don't. Yeah. You're right. So the sweater that I that I left at home, but I did show last week when yeah. I had cast on my sparkle sweater. That was actually this supposed to be this sweater. Mm. This is what I wanted to knit. I wanted to find a new pattern. And when I found this, actually her Instagram and what she's done with the sweater and the different samples that she's knit mm -hmm. made me want to knit this. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. And then when I, go, I went through the pattern, so I printed it, sat down, and I'm like, well, I can't knit this with what I've swatched Your with. Your gauge, yeah. Which was really disappointing. Yeah. But that's not to say that this isn't incredible. Somebody just said they don't want to do math. You don't have to. There's a lot of math in here. But is this on the Ravelry? Because it looks like it only goes up to 54 inches when you look at it on Ravelry. It, it, it does. Right. But that's because the gauge she's chosen to highlight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. I would not consider this size inclusive. If, if you were asking my opinion, I would not consider this size inclusive. That doesn't mean this pattern isn't incredible. And listen, right. if I had a 50, listen, if I had a 15 inch gate, well, I love 15, 60, like right mm -hmm. in there. That's mm -hmm. gorgeous. I would probably pick this up and knit it. Right. But I wish they all had. For every gauge. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's, I mean, that is a lot. There is definitely a lot of value in this pattern. Mm -hmm. Oh, tons She's of got value something. it's kind of and that's just my two cents right if i right. was but listen it's good it's a good one yes and i see what you're saying and yeah. i do agree with that mm -hmm. um but it also has a lot of other good things in it too so hack anyway. it h a hack it c k yeah. space there's it. a lot hack of amazing sweater. hacks in mm -hmm. here there's included and you're right when you say workshop Yes. Right? Like it is a basic raglan canvas. But she's mm -hmm. like, let's change the edging. Let's add a cable um, Listen, I was, panel. I was doing a V-neck. Uh, let's do the V-neck or, or the round neck. You can I, have, there are, and let's do a split hem or a hem with yeah. short rows so it's like a longer at the back. It is, I think, 20, was it 20 Canadian dollars? It was 21 Canadian dollars. Yeah. So it's about So it's not an inexpensive pattern, no. but I do think there's a ton of value in it. 
Um, it shows you... It show, does. It shows striping you... sequence if you want. Right. Like, you guys, when we tell you, other than the little tweak with sizes... Right. ...that this, pa this is filled with amazing ideas right. and different ways to knit a sweater. It's right. incredible. Right. Yeah. So it is... Okay. I just wanted to share... I did the inspiration yeah. for what I'm knitting because I think this sample that I showed in the picture, I think this is one of the, the nicest, coziest mm -hmm. looking sweaters I would agree. ever. Mm -hmm. So I've cast on the cozy classic raglan because that's similar gauge to what I was mm -hmm. getting. I guess I could have cast this on too though. This is 17 stitches. My gauge is 17 and a half for this sweater. So they both would have worked. Oh, perfect. Yeah, but I'm going to um, add black stripes. So I am going to use more mm. Sonder. This is their crossword color. This is Sonder DK. Are you going to kind of get the same feeling? Like I you're going to so. start the stripes yep. like at your bust kind of or yep. low just under? So I really zoomed in on that picture and I their, raglan, their stripes start just before she separates the raglan sleeve. Oh, it does. Just before. So that's where I'm going to add the black. And I had Shibui black mohair, silk cloud. Shibui mohair. Sure, sure, Shibui. They're not around, going to be around anymore. They right? have sold out of all of their yarn. The Shibui yarn is not anymore. So if you see it at your local yarn shop or online, that's the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do think their mohair is numero uno. Yeah. It is so soft. It's 40% silk, um, which I think is a lot. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, that was an interesting conversation about size, size inclusivity because it is so important to us. And I don't want to just not show something because we don't think it's size inclusive. Right. I just love the conversation. Yeah, me too. It, I, we're, I'm not saying don't buy this if it works for you because let me tell no, you. No, no, no. It's a beautiful pattern. It just, for me, needs to be tweaked a bit. It would be nice to have a, a few more sizes mm -hmm. in, in the smaller gauges. That's where I'm at. Right? So yeah. to make it as size inclusive for the big gauge, right? Also, listen, a 48, maybe size inclusive for the petite ladies yeah. on the bigger gauge, yeah. right? Yeah. It goes both ways. Yes, it's true, Jody. Yeah. I'm looking at that. So the smallest size in the 16-stitch gauge is a 45-inch bust. I mean, that... It's supposed to be a very um, oversized sweater. But someone who's really petite, that may might not be just want, too much. They may not want yeah. that much. I feel like, I think, feel like it's close to being just a perfect yeah. pattern. It's amazing. Like, in that way that there's yes. so many options where if, I mean, people want to modify these planar patterns because there's so much fun to knit something that's not, it's relaxing and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you just say, oh, well, I just did short rows and made this. Well, it's not, not – we don't all know how to do that mm -hmm. ourselves. So that is huge value. It's written into this. You don't have to guess. Yeah. They're telling you. This is how you do a split hem. This is how you add a cable. Mm -hmm. And I've provided you with charts for a few different cable choices. So mm – -hmm. And you want to stripe it, but you don't want to just wing it. This is what it looks like when Listen, you – Listen, every page yeah. I turned, I was like – Yeah. Yeah. What? A lot of good things. Yeah. Um, a lot of good things. Yeah, I yeah. agree. So, there you go. Do you watch um, Stitches and Starlight's pa uh, podcast? No. Tashi? Jody, who's that? Tracy. The Stitches heck? and Starlight's podcast. Her yeah. name is Tashi. She's adorable. Why don't you tell me these things? I mean, things? because I just saw it this week and I probably oh. forgot, but... Um, She's very sweet. I would love to. Yeah, I would I just, love to. I love finding new podcasts. Me you too. Guys. Also, there's a new. Tell us in the comments below um, podcasts that we would love. YouTube's too big. That's what I mean. It's hard to find. Yeah. And Stitches also, and Starlight. Okay, I love who's that. Who's got? Okay. <laughs> we up. Oh, willy nilly. How did I not know about him? I, when I saw that in your Instagram stories, I was like, what? You didn't know that? We in here. Aro in Knits here. and Pearls. I love. In I've here. watched Aro many times. Okay. So, Willy Nilly is kind of like 
He's let's fantastic. Do, let's do tutorials in under a few minutes. Yeah. He is, but his energy. His energy is amazing. His love of the craft. He's an incredible wool. knitter. You guys. Yeah. You're right. Love. He brought me joy. Love, love, love. I, see, that's the thing, you guys. Sometimes people think, oh, you know, with doing it this long, you might. We don't know. There's so many new things we're discovering. I don't make as much time as I would like. Yeah. So, yeah, I would. I would always up for a new um, I would actually, recommendation. I would love. He's on. He's also. He's a Clinton Hill cashmere ambassador, but he also has some things on YouTube. But I, you know what I would. But they're small. Like they're small tutorial kind of like. Well, and doesn't he design? And he's yes. got his own website yes. and merch. I would and... love to see him. Like at a like, let's sit and chat and knit podcast right form because he's he adorable. puts a lot of stuff out on Instagram Lots. and does many lives tons. So like you, it's kind of like this, but it's just on Instagram, right? He's yeah. talking about. Um, so anyway, I'm loving this sweater. I'm almost ready to start my stripes. Um, Cozy classic raglan by Jesse May has tons of sizes at an 18 stitch gauge. So if you're Gauge is off from that. You can either go up or down and still make the pattern fit for you. I think the broad range of size is something that it really works for lots of gauges, right? Like when your gauge is off, yep. you can either go up or down two or three sizes to still make it work. Mm -hmm. And that's what you and I have been doing all along. We just swatch with the yarn yes. we want to use on the needle we want to use and then yes. figure out a size. And I know that. Yeah. And circling back to that, I would love that to be something where if somebody says, what would you recommend for a first time yeah, knitter yeah, yeah. or someone who wants to make adjustments? I want to be able to say, this is the it. The Hackett sweater. Yeah. Yeah. As one of them. Okay. Because yes. there's lots of really, really good ones. What about the Black Sheep Knitter? Do you follow her? I, black her Knitter. Black Knitter, yes. The Black Sheep Knitter. No. I now follow her. Oh my gosh, okay, good. Does. She's got a podcast. Oh my god, yay. YouTube but, the Black Sheep Knitter. <gasps> She's Okay, adorable. thanks for giving us all these suggestions, you guys. Okay. Uh, this was also in my Paradise Island basket, my waxed canvas basket. It's kind of a great size, these bucket basket things for sweaters. Um, it's been working out really well. I love those open ones that kind of just sit. Yeah. Like, I don't need it because that's never going to leave my house it's like that. It's got all these pockets for all the doodads yeah. that you need, like your little ruler and tape measure and everything. And yet it fits a ton of yarn and your pattern still. So when I was, I, when I was trying to figure out what I wanted the sweater to look like, I was like, you know, do I want, do I want it striped? Do I want split sleeves? Do maybe I just want the black as like a anchor, like. I couldn't decide. I don't know. Is it going to be the stripes or you're I think it's, it? I, what do you think? Would you do all the stripes? Yes. Yeah, I think so. You could even start the stripes under the bust. And in my, you could totally. Yeah. 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 I mean, obviously anywhere. I, and in my mind, this is a little bit longer of a sweater. Like I love that. Kind of cover. Commit. Yeah. Yeah. So I do hope I can make it as long as I really want it to. Because I feel like I'm a quitter. When it gets to be the right length, like a long enough length Queen that I can kidder. bind off. Listen. I really would like to add a couple to three more inches to the length that I normally. Like kind of almost tunicky. Okay. Cover your butt. I love that for you. And I'm going to encourage it for you. For me, I'm going to text so you much. and say, I'm feeling like I'm no, going to bind off. Do it. Tell do me it. not to. I'm going to send you the picture of the original inspiration. You're going to go, oh, yeah. And the split hem. Yeah. So long with a split hem, I think, Not is the too vibe long, I want to go. Because I feel like also there's there's a too long yeah. and then there's a too crop. Right. I feel like you have a sweet spot, but maybe at a couple of inches. Well, now the pressure is just immense. Oh, my God. And I will have to send you pictures of, is this the right length? Um, and you guys know needles at the ready. We've talked about them so many times. Yeah. Kevin, Ray Ray. Yeah. We adore them. So yeah, when totally. we talk about podcasts, they're like, obviously, right? Oh, on the top 100%. of our list. I feel like we've mentioned them so many times that, yes. And yes. Peace for, peace for peace. TL Yarn Crafts. Uh, yes. Tony for crochet. Of course. Yeah. So Even if I'm not crocheting, I watch Tony. I just love her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Anyway, so yeah. Thank and you for I all the suggestions because yeah. everyone's coming up yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Nitty Stew. Leanne is Canadian, lives in Calgary, of course. Yeah. Uh, I love that she is. And Stu, I was like, Stu, what does that mean? She's a flight attendant. Mm. So it's kind of a cropped version of stewardess, but she goes across Canada on her job. Oh. And then will stay somewhere for the day and like, do see. day trips. Yes. Here's the yarn shop in Nova Scotia, right? Like oh in Halifax. Gosh. How amazing is I that? I know. It's kind of, and I love that about podcasts. It's everybody's personality, everybody's life. That alone is enough to make you different, right? And that's, yes. that's the draw. And so people, sometimes the 3 a.m. knitter, yes, of course, the 3 a.m. knitter who knit my, one of my sweaters. Um, everyone's going to find their own voice. If you've mm -hmm. ever felt like podcasting, you guys, I say just do it. Oh, my gosh. Please, please do Even it. Even if you just record it and you might... Where you think I'll just record it and I don't have right. to post it, right? Right. I just feel like do it. There's somebody for everybody. Don't ever be I wish I would have, right? Listen, if we all love to, we're all the same. Like we all love the fiber, mm -hmm. whether you're knitting or crochet or whatever, and we want to see what's your yeah. what you're making and what you're excited about. That's what I love. I love watching the knit, the knitting the project content, right? Love I love it. people that are making stuff especially if you're making things different than me um because it gives you so much inspiration and ideas i love it yeah did you guys see this tracy i thought instantly i thought did of you. see it jody this is a new pattern by kate davies yeah it but it's it's not but it is fingering weight but if there's no sleeves you guys so if and if i'm ever gonna knit a fingering weight something i feel like it could be this what do it's you think? It's stunningly beautiful. I, I am so craving a vest still. I feel like Tracy with three colors. It looks really retro, doesn't it, on her? It it's does. Retro yet fresh. Yeah. You know, she. I mean, I just love What's everything. What's it called? Starn Keeper by Kate Davies. Starn Keeper. <gasps> Keeper. Uh, gorgeous, of course. Yeah. Everything that comes off her needles is stunning. I'm super tempted. I still want to do this a Kate? vest. Is this Kate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. she's adorable mm -hmm. does she used to have dark hair at one point i'm sure okay yeah i think it's been like this for years i just thought this this whole her whole vibe yeah. in this photo was yeah. adorable like, i agree this, totally these stitches yeah Anyways. yes i love the diamondy kind I of i actually pattern. thought of you I think you'd wear the heck out of this. I would. In a second. You're right. right. Thank you. I love it. I didn't look very closely. I wonder if it steaked, you guys. It very well could be I, I would bet in the arms. I would bet anything that it is steaked, for sure. I would be very surprised if it isn't. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it must be. I think so. It must so. be. That would make life easy. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I hope when this video gets posted that you put your... and Or I hope people check out the chat, because there's so many podcast recommendations... Mm -hmm coming through and i and i love that willy, willy nilly knits willy i think it's an ie yeah it is ie willy with an ie nilly with an ie mm -hmm. knits so good okay and you're right he knits with a lot of cashmere yeah lucky, <laughs> love, lu lucky love willy it. love it um here's something that made me think of you Her okay. herding cats which is an adorable color pattern by charlotte stone she's stone knits she did the Charming Colorwork Socks book, and now, come oh. on. You can do, you can make the cats on this sock look like your cat. Yeah. So she's got a whole book, which is, we actually carry at grocerygirlsknit.com now. But then this pattern came out, and I thought, well, clearly. Yeah, I actually didn't think, oh, would I wear them? Yes, all the time. I imagine, sorry, go ahead. If I knit them, even you guys, if you didn't feel like you wanted all over, I even think one row of kittens That's what at I was top. thinking. I'm totally going to knit you these. I adore those. Aren't they so cute? Yeah. I think you need a pair. Yes. I really do. And they look like they've got a short row heel or a cut in heel. Either way, you know, if you love color work socks, even. so cute. Okay, you guys, we've got two extra cats right now. Did I have them last time? 
They were coming. They were coming. Yeah. Okay, so there's always a they, bit of a transition period. These cats are like five months, four or five months, five months maybe. They're adorable. Good. And it was just a few days of my cats hissing at them. <gasps> Your mean cats. I'm obsessed. Five cats. I'm in heaven. Jody. You don't have to go to the shelter now to get your I'm cat lady fix. Heaven. You're so funny. Yeah. You are so funny. Um, that's hilarious. Okay. okay. Dicky let's talk, or not to Dicky? Let's Dickie. talk Dicky. So this is funny because in our private chat group, these things are all over the place. Mm -hmm. This is the coffee run collar from Samantha Garen Designs. It just came out, but... Let me tell you, this is okay. not the first dicky. I feel like she's trying to dupe us into thinking it's a sweater. Well, that is the plan. That is what it is. Is that the point to wear it under a coat? Yes. So you don't walk around with this dicky no. on. Okay. It's like a cowl alternative. It's a it's another layer of being you could have a shawl wrapped around and bunched up. This is something else. This is another version. So she actually made this in Sunday morning four ply. This is the same color of my sweater. That I is it? That I just showed you. So this is the fingering and mohair of the same. I just love the color. Um, really? So I did. So I ordered the yarn to Are make you knitting it. this dicky? Yes, I'm knitting this dicky. I printed out the pattern and everything. Um, look I'm how long to, this one is, though. Can I do? I'm gonna have to reevaluate. Don't you think it looks nice? Yeah. Until Listen, she takes her coat off. But it's just like your ca cowl. But it keeps you warmer. It's actually. Is there a picture in here that shows the back? The back is way short. It covers the back of your neck. There we go. There it is, right there. So that's what it is. It's got a cozy ribbed neck, and then this long. And but I, it's. Listen, we looked at these. We're like, dickies are a thing. Like, Petite Knits got a couple of patterns. Arn and Carlos have, like, crazy color work ones. This is what I picture when you say dickies. <laughs> That's not it. I'm talking mohair silk. And really, I'm not calling it a dicky. I refuse to call it a dicky. It's not. Okay, you can say casual. Because look how long it is. You Dickies are like You can put fake. lipstick on a pig, no. but you still call it a pig. No. Cat, you can add cashmere to a dicky. No. And it's still a dicky. Dickies to me are like just from here up and they're fake out turtlenecks. They're tucked into your sweater and you're making people think you're wearing a turtleneck underneath. This is something else. That's hilarious. That <laughs> is a dicky. This is an I just love this accessory. Years ago, um, who came? Well, Wolfolk Luft did one. And it's beautiful. And it's I think it's cabled. And it's really squishy. Like, I almost knit it for mom. It's just as a layer to stay warm. Mm -hmm. You just slip it over and you're super warm. It's no dicky. And you know what? I should design one and call it It's No Dicky. Because they're not. <laughs> it's no dicky. It's a cowl. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. I just think this is really pretty. It's really freaking cold here. I'm also, I would wear that. I'm just a little suspicious. What's her name? Samantha. I'm just Garen. a little suspicious that Samantha isn't taking a picture without a coat. You're suspicious? Well, you don't wear it without a coat. Mm -hmm. This, you can Arnie, even wear Arnie with your Carlos vest. walk around with a dicky with no coat. Do you think? But that's not, do you think? I don't know. I'm picturing them wearing their dickies frolicking. In the snow. In Norway. Yeah. Making snowball fights. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, I'm picturing, uh, it's freaking silk mohair. It's like, I'm warm and bougie. And you're oh, not. Tracy, it's so nice to see you. What are you wearing? Yeah, nice bib. What are you wearing? What is that called? It's a collar. It's a really long collar. That looks suspicious I'm like not, a dicky. I'm not sure <laughs> collar's the right word either because it goes to your waist past. Really? Almost. Because when I was growing up, we called that a dicky. Oh, you did a dicky. Good for you. <laughs> Call it whatever okay. you want. I feel like it looks really cozy. Love Listen. the ribbed collar. I can get behind this. Don't even start. Listen. Don't even. If it's going to be something under a coat where I can hide that it's a dicky. You know what? I was going to knit you one. Which is Don't. Good. I'm not. I will not knit it. I mean, I will not wear it. I noticed. Um, 
Samantha has styled it beautifully. Listen, how I mean, if you're going to knit a dicky, I would recommend this. <laughs> it's not a dicky. It's also not a collar. I mean, I guess it is. It's a long one. It's a colicky. I feel. <laughs> I feel like it's a there's colicky. still the actual like name of what these are now is still to be determined. But we can call it collar. We can call it a dicky. We can call it a, a clicky. A clicky. <laughs> Cool. that's what it is it's a new it's a clicky a clicky mm -hmm. um it's so funny i love it i think it's really pretty there's a whole bunch of them i actually you guys i keep sending to our chat group like what is and okay it's funny you say that because i'm picturing this people just wearing a dicky and i have seen things for like what that. purpose would you just loop this over your head and walk around fashion i just want to like i didn't want a sweater but i wanted to <laughs> pretend that maybe i would knit the front of a sweater oh so you were not clear on the purpose of this accessory. Yeah. I Listen. I still feel like people I'm wear that in. as fashion. I'm going to try. Like that. No. You won't find me. Yes. They do not. Tracy. They don't just loop it over their head and walk around. Well, it's got like layered a t-shirt. It thinking? is like you're going out somewhere cold and you want to be warm. So you put this on and you put on your coat. It's like instead of. I'm actually going to prove you wrong. People will wear this out and not have it hidden by a coat. Well, not this people, but maybe other people. That's when I say. Look. No. Yeah, she's adorable. In another coat. There's, this is the cash. I'm going for the weekend. Let's go to the farmer's market. Okay. This is the, I'm going to my BFF's lunch. This is, I'm hiding the fact I'm wearing a fucking dicky. <laughs> this is, I wish my sweater was heavier because I'm a little bit chilly, but now I'm going to put this on. It's hilarious. Is this going to hide the fact I'm wearing a dicky? That's a straight up dicky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you get called your a dicky? Cute, your cute smile is not distracting me right. from knowing you're, super, you're wearing a dicky. You're super handsome. Let's put on <laughs> something else for you. What is... What is... Why is it called a dicky? That's, see, that's not going to work either. So even though... I mean, there can be many different styles of this. I think this is beautiful. Yeah, that's interesting too, right? That is... I look at that and think collar. That's a collar. I mean, I can't say anything how bad about not, Arn and Carlos. No, but how come it's not being more... I don't know, maybe you do wear it just like that. I'm not going to wear it just like that. That's... Wow. People do. No, they don't. This is like... That is not his wardrobe for the day. That is... Can you take a picture of this so I can... No. You know, this sell was, this item. Yeah. He needs to go back in and put a coat on. How did on. it get called a dicky anyway? I have no idea. Where did the term dicky? It's a very bizarre piece of clothing. I think it's hilarious when it's literally just the turtleneck. You guys, actually, it's That's like... That's so 70s. It's like... It's it's just a hack of one of those bandana cowls, kind of, right? I love it. I do. I love it. Okay. And I especially think this this subtle texture... It's beautiful. The mohair. I'm going to wear this shit out of this thing. Well, Jody? I'm not going to stand beside you when you're wearing a dicky. Just let that be known. Guess who's going to wish they had their own dicky? No. Probably. Probably. Uh, Samantha Guerin. Queen Love of it. the dicky. She wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> the dicky. But I'm just saying. She's going to wear her dicky um, crown. Our lovely, beautiful. Okay. Two beautiful patterns yes. that came out that totally make me want to cast on. The Elton pullover is out. I loved the Elton cardigan. So many people knit the Elton cardigan mm -hmm. with the beautiful stripes of a, like a single ply or sock yarn and then a single strand of mohair. Um, that looks really subtle, right? Because they're both kind of creamy colored. The color choice is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And Hohe also put out the cutest bobble edge lacy shorty guys, socks when there's a pattern in a dark color it's hard to see detail other than the lace eyelets yeah but it's so cute though um there's little bobbles you can see on the uh, the cast on you guys she does the most beautiful photos yeah the bobble on the, i so yes. i haven't looked at the pattern yet but i think yeah. and also 
these kind of shorty socks, they knit so fast. Mm -hmm. So even though it's lace with the, like a little fussy bobble, listen, I'm in. Count me in. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Okay, you guys, Jessie Mc... Mc... McKittrick. Kittrick. She's local to us. I've met her. Are you serious? Yes. She She's just... Edmonton. You got... Are you serious? Jody. This is a new pattern, you guys. A evergreen cardigan. Look at my great printer. Photo quality. Um, 10 out of 10. Look at this i like this is like a classic kind of grandpa style cardigan it's got a small shawl call you call I that do a shawl collar but if you i don't know if you can see it through my wonky printing but the texture on this sweater body is beautiful it's got orange stripes yeah no <laughs> the sweater just not orange stripes this is a dk pattern i don't see the texture can i see oh yeah it sort of looks Almost like a, like a seat like a broken okay. rib but not i believe not on the sleeves you guys so it's texture no on that's the... really nice isn't it yes i loved this you should knit one for shane he would this is what he this is what he would choose jeff would jeff, yeah. jeff has got another version mm -hmm. of this so he that's loves beautiful. those like bulky roots color work sweater he loves that jeff's kind got of thing. one yeah, so that he she... bought i yeah. mean that's part of the reason i chose to knit him one because like he keeps buying these mm -hmm. things that I'm like, I can totally make that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can make that way better. Oh, Jody, that's really it. nice. I love that shawl collar is not so overwhelming. Like it's not this right. giant thing you've got to deal with. It's just a really beautiful edge. This it was a standout I love for that. me. I love, love, love this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Something else that I almost cast on for our raglan along is this this is called the color waves raglan is lynn in here is lynn this lynn's pattern no this no. is jesse lynn said this is on 15 percent off right now oh yay um so this is a raglan and color work sweater we oh. were just talking about how most color work sweaters are like a round yoke where you've only got a few rows of increases this is still increasing at a pretty regular rate in a raglan shaping I as well as color work that zigzag so i what's mean what's the weight I, I love the chevron it is a dk a dk look 18 stitches okay look at the difference just a minute hold the forward <laughs> i printed these at work so okay. this is me taking screenshots and then using my finger I bought this pattern, so I just printed the first page of the pattern. I just put them in my favorites, and then I do screenshots. Okay. I don't. I don't buy them all. Oh, I did so buy. Beautiful. I did buy this one because I really want to knit it. Actually, you were still logged into the computer at my oh, desk. Was I? Yeah, I just about like started to print all the stuff. You, but I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. <laughs> but it was funny. When were you at work after me? Oh yeah, Wednesday. Morning. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this was also stunning. I thought it was so beautiful. Actually, yeah, that's really pretty. This is beautiful. I just thought it's got checkers with these beautiful. I think it's really like crisp, bold color work. I, I love, love that. But Who's... you know what's so fun about this is just customizing it with those fun, crazy colors. And you could do make it scrappy. Yes. Right. You could just make use your minis and scrappy um. Lubonzi hat by Noma. Ndulov, um, Love, love you. Oh, we're definitely not pronouncing Sorry that correct. Sorry about that. I just thought this was Super beautiful. love the hat, and it's DK. Mm -hmm. See, I don't have to guess. The giant red DK, I love. I do love that. <laughs> um, okay. okay, Jody, so many good things. Okay, we're gonna. Sh I'm going to share. I have one more thing before Grocery Girls and Frankie Gray Fiber. Okay, well, I have... Actually, two more. We have our awesome. <gasps> we we had parties in our mailbox, Jody. Unboxing. So I could save my two patterns for next time. Actually, I should do that. And I should do that. They're both raglan. So if people are still thinking about the you raglan should show them. along, you should show your raglan time. sweaters. You should show them now. Now? Yeah. Okay. I'll save mine. Okay. This one is a sixteen stitch gauge, like the love note. Big needle, six millimeter needle. It is a really beautiful 
this is the fuzzy version. This is the fancy sweater. They call it fancy because it's knit in an Aran weight cereal pack up. This. Big, Just that? Big birdie. Yeah. <gasps> so you can knit it in whatever you want. DK in mohair? You can get, or worsted in mohair. Yeah. Right? Like you're getting quite a big gauge. Um, there's, you can't really see it in this picture, but she's knit the in, it's a folded collar, and she knit the inside in a blue, and then mm. started everything else. So what I really love about it, first of all, I love the gauge. Love the fuzzy yarn. Um, it, it is a luxury fuzzy yarn, so you would just be aware. But also the the ribbing is very subtle. There's It's not an even rib where there's equal knits and purls. It looks like like four by one or five by one or something okay. ribbing. It's a very subtle, I love it. So when we say these little tweaks to make it your own, yeah. this is what we're talking about. Right. Just little nuances, a little tweak here and there will change the whole look of your sweater. You could do this with DK double stranded. Lots of times people will do this kind of bulky sweater with two strands of like superwash DK. You could marl. They don't even have to be the same color. Um, but this pattern's free too. Mm. So I wanted to share a nice free pattern. Put this in your library, you guys, because this is going to be one you want to reference. This is beautiful. I'm pretty sure. 99% sure it's free. Yeah. Um, the yarn it's in is luxurious and soft and beautiful. But yeah. we can also do it in lots of other things. Like I have a bulky, the that Barrett wool, I have her yeah. bulky. It would totally work for mm, that yeah. sweater. So, um, and another sweater that is, okay, this. this is so pretty. And you know, I bought it, I thought I bought it when it came out because I really loved it, but I didn't. I just bought it this week. Um, it's called the library sweater. Can I just ask a question about the one you just showed? Is that new? Ish. Not Ish. brand new. Oh. Like Christmassy mm. time, maybe? I okay. mean, Sarah is so, like, look at that. Just the most beautiful photography. Mm -hmm. Love the color she chose. It looks so fun with jeans. Right? Sarah is a master at what she does. Oh, my gosh. Her whole color and aesthetic, her overall vibe. I, st I do. I totally want to knit this. Uh, yeah. So. I adore everything about her. I can make it work. Yeah. For sure. Um, anyway, the library sweater is another beautiful raglan nice. design. <gasps> I love this little bit of a mock neck, but not super long, but mm. it's, it's not low either. Like it's going to go up just a little bit. And then the sleeves are kind of full and then they cinch in. I like There's that. There's the sleeve right there. So you're going to feel that little bit of poofiness. Not balloon. Not balloon, balloon. you add extra stitches. Yeah. No, this is not balloon, but I would think no decreases and then a very quick decrease before your cuff. And those are- And the, I love that. Those are details, you guys, that can differentiate you because we love and we- I like to stick within the shape that I love. Mm -hmm, for the body. Just a little bit of a change with the sleeve. Yeah. We'll give and you a different feel. That's the thing. Like, yes, we're knitting Cozy Classic Raglan and Lento and Love Note over and over. But you can change things like the neckline and the hem and the sleeve and leave the body fitting the way you like it mm -hmm. to fit. Right? So, But it's not going to look like the same sweater that you're knitting the same pattern on. Right. Right? Because you're going to make changes. So this is actually designed in the yarn I'm using for my sweater. The Sunday Morning DK and Halo. It's not from Sonder Is this new? Yarn. This, not brand new. I think it came out at the end of last year. Okay. So only it's only a few months old. You guys, I love this. I really love this. I could see myself wearing the heck out of this. I mean, it's a raglan sweater with a cozy neck and sleeves. I feel like we could I talk totally, for hours about I, patterns. I do. Ooh. I do too, Joe. I mean, I really love... I, I think I'm going to cast on a drop shoulder or something too because i just i keep knitting all the raglans but that's okay but i, I don't i put this on and thought oh I love see it's really this. nice to have some variation in and a drop shoulder is very boxy because right yeah. you, you're getting more width here it's so effortless yeah. to wear and style so if you're still looking for a raglan and haven't really found 
the one that you love. Those are definitely options. And I have to say the fancy sweater is going to knit up so fast. I feel like that would be an excellent sample for the shop. It would also be an excellent first sweater, I think, because you don't, you're not going to be knitting for a long time. You're yeah. knitting with heavier, yeah. on a bigger needle, just like knitting DK socks are better for your first pair. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So anyway, gorgeous. And I love oh the bright my color. Gosh. Jody. Okay. I've got some things that came in the mail. Let's do the unboxing of, I haven't seen it. Have okay. you seen it? Yes. It's here. Actually, it might be fun next time to unbox it on camera. What? That. Oh, next time. Forget it. I'm never going to be able to do that, but <laughs> I wouldn't idea. either. Good idea. I got a whole bunch of new underwear. You know who's got great underwear, you I guys? I totally use new underwear. Airy. I just blew Amer out a bra the other day. Oh, that's the worst. It's like, boing, there's the wire. Garbage. Especially when you've got big yiddies and you find your favorites. Right? I keep buying the same bra over well, and over. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so. yeah. Me, okay. I don't need it so much. But anyway, Amer Airy. Airy from American Eagle. The fabric, you could, they have cotton, but like that microfiber yeah, yeah. fit. You guys, there's a million styles. They fit beautifully. Really? And like six or seven pairs for $40. Really? Yeah. That's hilarious. Anyway. There, I'm um, wearing a pair that would make you think of it. It's very comfortable. Really? Yeah. I don't even bra shop. Here, I let just me like, show. Just kidding. <laughs> Here's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, okay. This is very exciting. So, wow. What is this? Thank you to Hedgehog Fibers. They sent us like a selection of their bases. Jody. Insanity. So... Who were the idiots years ago that said, I don't like single ply yarn? Us. How stupid is that? So this it couldn't is, have been me. It, I can't even believe. If it wasn't on video, I wouldn't you believe guys, it. I knit a shawl in single, single ply. It is incredible. The drape of single ply yarn. <gasps> and that includes for sweaters. I mean, it's not just for shawls. This is 100 grams, 100%. Um, merino wool. Ooh. It's, <gasps> and the speckles are out of this world. Of course. It blooms so beautifully, you guys. And surprisingly, doesn't pill like crazy. Right. So I guess it just depends. Yeah. With, but on oh, the twist and all that other stuff. This is called Echo. This is The beautiful. color's stunning. Uh, that mix of the teals and magenta e purples and yes please uh love it oh there's a love. touch of there's a touch of like browns or caramel in there oh that's stunning okay what is that angel hair that's what it is it's the hair of angels oh my goodness the color it's their mohair this oh. is the rose hip color in their kid silk mohair it feels incredible it's 50 grams 70 percent kid mohair 30 percent silk this color of course just Brightened my day. It's very dark here in January. This is the yeah. cure. So when we started dyeing, I mean, it's people like Spun Right Round, Hedgehog Fibers yeah. is who I always gravitated because I think their use of color and speckles is incredible. I think, and maybe I'm totally wrong, could happen. It's a pretty regular occurrence. Oh, but guys. when I think of the neons... And those bright speckles that pretty much everybody uses now. Yeah. To me, it's always like OG. Hedgehog is the OG, OG. I think. But they're also amazing. Look at these fun, bright, amazing, soft, and neon together. But then here's a dirty green. Yeah. But it goes perfectly together. They kind of just do it all. Because you, you, now with their clubs, you can get the darks or the neons or the neutral. Like they can... Yeah die the crap out of a neutral yeah. too so anyway they've got it all but i feel like neon is where their heart might lie because they've got so many beautiful ones like that it would be a dream to visit hedgehog hq are you kidding mm -hmm. close your eyes okay squish it and tell me what fiber that is it's incredibly it's like butter soft i don't know i couldn't even begin cashmere couldn't begin to guess but it's like butter. It is like butter. It is the softest. <gasps> it's only merino wool. It's got to be certain, Mike. <gasps> you guys. It's 
Okay, so this base is called Oh So Fine. It's a two-ply twist base, you guys. Look at the twist on this. It is, it, it's the one you would swear is some kind of cashmere content. It's phenomenally soft. This is called Blue Waffle. It is 100%. Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> blue lobster oh it is. look at the speckles it's a hundred percent merino wool <gasps> so like natural merino but it's got to be the microns right like, i guess because you don't get softness like this oh my god i feel like you should take that home and double strand it and knit a hat yeah it's so we've got three colors of oh so fine this is dada I can't yes. even. Take this then. Somebody was asking if you could, there isn't a yarn that I found that you can't wind on a ball winder. Someone was asking if you can wind mohair. Oh, for sure. Yes. I don't wind it really fast. Yeah. You probably do. I do. It's really strong. If you're I can get gonna, it to 15. You're not going to break it for yeah. sure. I just don't like the ball to be really dense. So I, when you wind it slowly, it's like this airy little yeah. cake. Yeah. And that's what I like. Oh. So is this a new base? I think so. Wow. I said, you know, is it out? Can I share it? She goes, do a little unboxing and a reveal. I mean, I don't know if it's out. I don't know when it's going to be out. I do know it feels and looks <gasps> incredible. It's beautiful. It is so soft. You guys, you will not believe the softness of this. This is the first time I've seen it and touched it. And so, like, it's good that it doesn't have cashmere. That's oh. That's just this beautiful, beautiful... Merino. You I guys, just... I kid you not, you'd be surprised that there wasn't mohair in this. This color is called taffy. It's <laughs> so beautiful. It's, that it's peachy pink. so pretty. And the fun thing about hedgehog, you guys, they're so amazing with their speckles. It's like once you unwind it, you see all this oh, stuff yeah. in the middle. So many. So there's actually two skeins of taffy here. I feel like this would be an awesome giveaway the Did two like someone can make a really beautiful oh. big shawl you know what else i think this is a great idea to use as color work in a fingering weight sweater like when i yes. did my miserina i used a solid for the color work but this would be amazing so even if you bought a single skein you could do a hat a dicky or whatever knits but that's not going in a dicky. Just well, kidding. Could. <laughs> um, this, you guys, see here. Right now, every I'm all about like beautiful. Um, Look at this together. Colors. Yeah, I was. That's thinking that. just stunning. Popped with neon. That's all I can think about right now is pops of neon, and this Dada colorway is that. Well, it's it's kind of like yeah, totally, Jody. It's oh. got that neutrally base. I love that gray or. Grayish blue. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. Okay. Here's a okay. base I did not know. I've never touched this before. Okay. The color is Zephyr, which is <gasps> old school. Look. I've seen it on sock yarn. Feel this. It's, it's like their a... Surrey alpaca. It's a boucle. It's a loop boucle. Well, boucle is those yarns that are oh, the sorry. loop, right? Yeah. So it's the Surrey alpaca, right? What's the fiber? Alpaca and silk. So it, it is, but it's also 600 meters or something. This is a big biggie. Yeah. It's a hundred grams instead of Does that lots of those are 50 grams for oh, Surrey. Okay. Right. Yeah. So it's fuzz. It's not, it's fuzzy, but not gigantically. Look it's got the, the halo from the alpaca. I <gasps> love Look it. it. I'm dying to swatch with that, Jody. You should. Just to see, just for fun. I've just never... Just to see how it feels. It's so beautiful. Come on. It's amazing. You could double strand it and make a hat. Like a fuzzy, No, I would like to see... Hat. Oh, and look at the blue. <gasps> yeah. I feel like look this in there. is... This is... You must swatch just so okay. we can see what it does. Okay. And the colors. I know. Georgia might really like a hat in this. He'll double. Forget it. I'm annoyed. She doesn't get anything. Yeah, she probably would. But no, you know what? It's I'll got be blues honest. and oranges. She's super fucking picky. Is she? So no, she probably wouldn't. Thank goodness. Just because say it's Oilers on 
right. steroids. No, it's like not it's... even the blue. Listen, this no, is... No, down here. That won't be enough. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Listen, this sucker's getting wound this afternoon. You tell her this was inspired for all my Oreos. No. Because then we'll have to give it yeah, to her. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, Swatch, I cannot wait. Gorgeous. Yeah, love. Okay, you want to see the latest? I think it's the latest color of Tweety. <gasps> okay. This is <gasps> so good. It's I been sitting so. right in front of you. I yes! didn't even really notice. Okay. Its color is Connemara, which is, I think, a type of marble or granite or something. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. It's is it not... clay? Would you call it clay? No, it's blue. It's Aqua. Blue. Don't you think? Yes. That's a sweater. Oh. That's a hat or whatever. But I mean, the color, the color is subtle and beautiful. And it looks so good with the pops of tweed. You guys. So maybe it's more like an aqua greeny, sea, sea greeny blue. This is stunning. so good. <gasps> You guys. I think it would be incredible in a stripey sweater with the Tweety Noir. It would really make that subtle wow, aqua color pop. It's super good. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. They're doing such amazing things at Hedgehog Fibers. Yeah, super cool. I, I mean, mean, we're such admirers of their, their fun since colors. Since like the and, very beginning. Yeah. Since the very beginning, it's been something that's... Thank you, Rose. I, my for... first ever subscription to anything was Hedgehog Fiber Sock. And it used to be their, their BFL sock base. It was 90% BFL, 10% nylon, I think. Mm -hmm. It was like one of the first things ever that mm -hmm. I subscribed to. Oh. So they've got tons of subscription clubs if you're interested in that. You must like And their speckles. shipping was... Ten dollars flat. You cannot compare with their. I don't shipping. know what it is now because okay. things have gotten crazy. But I remember at the time thinking, how can they do mm, ship it like that? Probably because volume. Right? right. Probably. Maybe they just have a better amazing. system than us. But I mean, thank you, thank you, thank you, for the treat of being able to just like feel every base mm -hmm. all together yeah. like this. Stand out. Oh, you guys! I can't even tell you. And I think this has are. to be for someone. This has to yeah. be for a giveaway. And you must knit it together. Right. And we want to see what you make. <laughs> we should have to prove prove that they've made it together. And then if they don't, they have to give it back. Listen, it would make an awesome Elton, car, uh, mm -hmm. Elton pullover. Mm -hmm. Striping these colors. Any of these would. Wouldn't this be fun as the stripes in, the, in a, like if you did yes. black? And then this striped with like the little mm, punchy. Excuse me. I love that. Anyway. Mm. Super fun. Okay. Speaking of speckles. Okay. Listen, when, when I started, I think your yarn company, your yarn dyeing would look very different from mine because I feel like our styles and that's how I think we pair so good me together. Too. It might be a touch boring if we loved the exact same thing. I think thing, it would be super boring. Right? Yes. So when I knew I st when I started dyeing yarn, I knew it was like hedgehog fiber. It was spun right round. It was all these Those amazing things inspired yeah. you. Yeah. And so I this is a club colorway. That's gorgeous. That teal, I'm obsessed with this teal. This is called Jazz Bath and this is one of Renee's Oh wow. DK yarn of the month. Jody, it's amazing. Listen love again since the very beginning spun right round has been right very right loved by right. us so don't let me forget what okay. renee did this year is she did a little uh a val a, a valentine kind of oh, inspired box how fun now i just got mine yesterday so i would imagine mine took a little longer than you if you were local home? it's beautiful yeah um okay so, you so your... i'm gonna show this box you didn't know what you were getting. It's a uh, Renee Spun Right Round Valentine box. So if you don't want to see it. So you ordered this? Look away. I ordered this, I think. And you don't know what November, it is? December. No, <gasps> I didn't. But what I want, I knew it was fingering and I knew I was ordering it to give away. So I thought this oh, could Jody. be a giveaway. Or oh, you can keep it. No. So this is a spun right round Valentine Day box. There are lots of great designs to incorporate minis. And what she's done is she's listed a whole oh, bunch of pattern such a good suggestions, idea. right? That's such a good idea. I'm not going to open this. Well, maybe I'll open this. 
Maybe I'll keep what's in here. Open this. You get the Valentine's box minus the things I love. <laughs> Ooh. Minus the notion. <gasps> Cute. I'll put it back in. We don't I have want so to many Okay, we'll the surprises. Um, okay. It's awesome. Everybody would love that. You guys. So you get a full skein in this beautiful, like, maroon That's and so pretty. burgundy and. It's her um, classic sock base. It is 100% superwash merino. And then there's two mini sets. That's crazy. Look what you can make with all of that. That's a lot of yarn. So how much yarn is in each mini set? Because I feel like One, you two, could three, make four, a giant five, shawl with this. There's like two, almost two. One, two, three. There's almost three and a half skeins here of yarn. Wow. You could knit so much. I love where she went with this i do too. with the neutral like this is gonna be here's the thing i love neons but as far as wearing them i don't wear them a lot this is more something that would fit in my wardrobe like something that i yeah. would be able to wear where it's kind of like oh it's your outfit like it feels like it matches what you've got on this that is like blue. tealy steely blue and grays and um like tan. She suggested lots of those ones by um, Amba O'Brien, who does sort of those advent patterns, mm. right? So there's many, many mini skeins incorporated. Mm -hmm. This would also be amazing in something like um, like the Alpenglow sweater with with mm. Andrea Mowry because you know her color change was the spin cycle yarn, but you could just keep knitting your minis. And make it change colors in whatever way you want. Like, there's lots of ways to do that, but she's got you so many good pattern suggestions down here. I thought here. this was beautiful. I actually am surprised I, I got love both the, of these. I love the graphic. I'm actually not sure what I wasn't sure what I bought, but you this is what came in the box. Had options. Love. Jody's the queen of add to cart, and what did I order? I totally forget. Well, that's cool. that's so beautiful. Maybe we should save that for one of the prizes for our rag one along. I you do whatever it. you want to do with it. I just it's brought yours. it here for a giveaway. You decide where and no, when it goes. No, I don't. I can't have this brush. Well, then let's do a regular along. Regular along. But it's a, such a beautiful. It's not in your face Valentine's. We could do it, we could do it on Valentine's Day no. if you want. We'll do a ragging along. It's a good prize for a raggling along. Yeah, we're so lucky, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, you haven't seen this either. No. The ladies out in Ontario at the Village Land Cafe. They are so sweet, and they always send us their Adve Canadian Adventure yarn box, but they also have the Take a Hike oh. sock subscription. So there's two different subscriptions. They sent this one. This is January. I'm wondering if we should show it. We'll show it. If you got the January box and you don't want to see, you should probably look away. But if you're thinking about kind of a fun box, maybe you'd like to buy for yourself or whatever, I'll share. It's, these are always inspired by Canadian locations, and they include Canadian yarn. Um, this is the inspo. Gosh, that's stunning. Isn't Let's that see. amazing? Somewhere in BC. Dreaming Mountain, Joffrey Lake, BC. <gasps> you guys, wow. We should all go. Beautiful. So what you do get, you get this printed book with a pattern included, and the postcard mm -hmm. and coordinating stitch markers which are so cute um and this comes with a digital download okay. so you get the printed pattern digital ravelry code and the sock set to to make it happen so here's the sock set oh you guys look it's a perfect match look, to that inspiration sparkle this is not sparkle this is sparkle should I show the pattern? I don't think I should show no, the pattern. No, let something be a surprise. Think cables, but not hard, like not all over. Mm. A beautiful detail with that mm. yarn. It's going to look amazing. Um, anyway, I love it. This is one of those bases that just, it's 80-20 merino nylon, but it's that plump. It just feels so good. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, the mini is a sparkle. So you're going to get a little bit of bling in your... So you'll get that whole thing when you order their Take a Hike sock. I wonder if someone's there having trouble with the live chat. Why? Because Star said chat check, but I don't see a lot. Oh, no. Here's Amanda. Okay. It looks like it's okay. Okay. They also brought in something new. And they sent us a sample. 
to share with you guys for whatever. This is jewelry made in Iceland. And this I, is that jewelry. This is that jewelry. So it's jewelry, but it's also like stunning stitch markers too that you can clip on your jewelry. Where did we see it? Uh, our pal Agnes. Agnes. Right. Um, so I should have unpeeled this before I... So it comes wrapped up really um, so it doesn't get tangled. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is... Oh, it's very pretty. It's super pretty, actually. This is oh, a bracelet. The bracelet right here. But it's also... These little things oh. are gauge... Small gauge rulers. And this is where you would clip their... Um, like stitch marker things. I'll show you. Oh, and there's little oh, there's little jewels hanging on. So like you could clip whoops. this thing. This goes right there. Where's the empty circle? So this thing is a stitch marker, but also the bling for your jewelry. <gasps> it's These super guys. pretty. It comes in these little zip um kind of pearly faux leather pouches. This is beautiful. You can get this on Village Lens website right now. You go to the where it says gifts. Okay, this is the piece I saw that Agnes had that I thought was just unbelievably gorgeous. I think you should keep that one. No. It would be an awesome prize. <gasps> Wouldn't it be an awesome wow. prize? Wow, you guys look. This is the stitch marker necklace. A gauge ruler necklace. This has the same gauges. It has 1.75 on both of these. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. Well, these are all different. Every disc here is a different, and it is marked. That's not true. Mine are different on this Jody. too. <gasps> They're marked. Okay, 5.5 millimeter, 6 millimeter, and US. It says 6 slash 10 6.5 slash 10 and a half. This is cool. It's so cool. And this little charm thing at the bottom is a two inch measure. So this clips on. You can take that off if you don't like it. Yeah, it doesn't come with it. I believe it. we would have to order it together. But see, it's increments of centimeters, but it is five mm. centimeters slash two inches about. So if you're doing a cuff on a sock or a mitten or whatever, lots of times they're like, do your ribbing for two inches. Okay. So there's a little. Hey, so this it's, is very fun. It's very pretty. And it's very the brand, fun. The brand is Silfa. And it's inspired by the past, they say. I mean, it's gorgeous and functional. So I think that's really cool. This is not something I think when you wear that someone would go. Knitting oh, jewelry. That's knitting jewelry. Maybe you just. I just love the circles. And the, it's super, super lovely. So thank you to the ladies. Oh, it landed for, on my wrist. Oops. Thank you to Carolyn and Cheryl for sending. Look, it looks awesome. You guys. It I wouldn't wear really it like pretty. this. But yes. Right? It so was, again, maybe this should be some, you know, maybe we should split these up and send them out in our Raglan prizes. So you get everything comes in this cute little in their bought bag to keep nice. There you go. So you can check that out. It is almost Valentine's Day, which is my least favorite holiday, but I really don't do anything. For maybe Valentine's. somebody, you know, maybe you celebrate in a way that someone gives you a gift. Send a link. <laughs> right. Uh, this stuff you can purchase on their website now. Love Isn't it beautiful? That. Yeah. So um, I remember seeing it from Agnes thinking that necklace is cool. And beautiful. I love a long chain like that. So. Really beauty. Ball. This. I can't believe you have no knitting. What the heck? I know. <laughs> um, you guys, I did not have a lot of knitting. This, so this came is a lot in the mail. Talking. Did I order this? Probably. Gosh, I love that yarn. Love that yarn. I don't remember at all ordering this. Did they send it to you? Well, that's what I'm wondering. And I didn't see a note. This yarn, I have, this is what I knit your sweater in, Jode, for your birthday. Oh. This is it. This is the color. It's heavenly is what it is. I think. This, well, for sure, this is the yarn. 
This is this the is, fiber company Cumbria. It's worsted. It is. And it's got a mohair content. So it's um, 90% wool, 10% mohair, super soft, non super wash. It made yeah. such a beautiful sweater. The softness is next level. So our local yarn Ooh. shop carries, Ugh. so the Fiber Nook carries the Fiber Co. I don't remember when they had this. a big sale. I bought, I have two sweater quantities. I have a sweater quantity of this color. This is called Windermere. It's a beautiful worsted look white at yarn. All of these Jody, together. it would be such a good um, like this pattern you're wearing right now, a striped, those colors together are just beautiful. If I didn't, or I think this should be a giveaway. I, d I don't You need remember. to figure out where how what happened. I don't know what happened. It just came in the mail. It's so beautiful. I love the natural. I really want to knit guys, a, it's so beautiful. I really want to knit a natural cream sweater, but I feel like I'm gonna wreck it. Mm. Soy I think you sauce, should do a dark tomato one. sauce. Do a dark one with the cream. Do a dark one with the cream in the yolk. Yeah, I, I, I actually have a tragic story for you, and I hope you can help me. Really? Yeah, right now. Okay, you give it see? to me. Yeah. Okay, my beautiful. This is my wave of change pullover. Oh, look, you can see it on both sides. Wave of change pullover. This is a pattern by Denise Bayron. Oh, I love this. It is a bulky weight raglan sweater. You. This is another amazing option for our raglan knit along. I love this sweater. So I recently washed it and when it was dry, there was still like a really pale kind of, I don't know what it was. So this yarn is Hue Loco Woolens. It was their non super wash. It's so beautiful, but it's dyed with natural. I don't know what she used, but it's naturally dyed, not acid dyed. Um, and I got gauge. It's just a little bit looser gauge. So it's a bulky pattern, but this was quite a beefy worsted weight. And it worked out awesome. I would knit it again like this in a second. I adore those pearl bumps to make stripes. Oh, it's... Yeah. I will knit this again. I have no doubt I well, will knit this again. Well, you might have to. Well, now I really have to. So I put OxyClean on this. Bleach? Did you put bleach on it? <laughs> you would think. You guys, look what happened to my sweater. It's so bad. So my yarn dyeing sister, I don't know if this is going to work, but if you want to put it in a, in a bath. Either it's garbage or it's garbage. It's not a, it's either you can over dye it or it's, I don't even know what to. Yeah. No. Someone said, can you do surgery? No. No. I'm going to do my best. It probably would need like to be indigo, a darker color. Indigo, like whatever. It'd have to be a no, darker color. Like just any, I don't know. Yeah. I'm up for the challenge. Will you just yes, throw it in course. something and then to be continued? I was a little bit heartbroken. Did you? Did it happen right away or did you go, <gasps> did you well, come I, back? No, I left it for 10 minutes and came back. And what so was this your reaction? Is, this is me here coming back and looking and see, what was your reaction? It was just like, what the fuck? But I was a little bit devastated. I mean, you would have thrown the whole thing right in the garbage yeah. right that minute. And then I just thought to myself... Oh. This is no garbage 2023. 20, we will fix this. I love this sweater so much. It feels, listen, I would knit with this yarn in two seconds. I absolutely love it. And I think the color is amazing. So now I'll have to be sad that it's not going to be this color. But I'm also open to other colors. If we could, Espresso? If we could stay away from purple, that would be great. Espresso? <laughs> We're going to do something dark. And just surprise me. Yeah, I will. I trust you. Don't freak about I it. I don't like, have don't worry e about enough it. experience with this to say that that light color is going to be the right. same as all over. Right. But I'm real. And if it's not, then it is garbage. I'm real hopeful. Um, I can. And yeah, so I don't know if the OxyClean was like that because did I use too much? Is it not? Like it said for light and dark colors. Did you use OxyClean with bleach? No, it said for light and dark color. Like mm. I used something that. Listen, this is a giant surprise. I'm not someone that normally wrecks clothes in the laundry room. I am. I don't use bleach because of that. I feel like if I'm, I use bleach at all, then it's on the next seven loads. Don't you use bleach on like your towels and stuff? No. Like white towels? No. Okay. I don't have white towels. 
I don't use bleach Maybe a lot, why. but I do <laughs> add a little yeah. bit to like a whole load of white towels to because I love white white towels. I feel like the second shit show I opened this. the lid of the bleach, it got on three things right that aren't even in the laundry room yet. Right, and I'm <laughs> right? always wearing black yeah leggings. Like I can just imagine one day I'm gonna get that hot pink splash from bleach. Right. Actually, um, someone just suggested. Um, lightening the whole thing first. I actually thought of that. How maybe. do you do that? Is there I would a just, writ? I would just put it maybe in a bit of a very, very... OxyClean has peroxide. It will lighten. Oh, that would have been nice to know a little while ago. So why did this say safe for all colors? This is a cautionary tale, wool lovers. Don't do it. Tracy, we're doing it. Do you want me to go buy the writ stuff? No, that... okay. I do not. I don't want you to spend a lot of time on it. No. But if you... And we have to weigh it, right? So you know, I don't care what you do, Joe. I don't. Listen, it's out of my hands at this point. It's either throw it away or whatever. I'm up for the challenge. I think that's going to be fun. Okay. Okay, one more. I would love espresso. Something. Maybe I do a custom color for you. Custom dark color. Oh, my God. Okay. This is the sock I was talking about. Oh, my goodness. This is so pretty. Oh, it's self-striping. It's 100 grams. And it's two, it makes two identical socks, it says. Yes. Yeah. I bought these for you. Made in Italy. It came. It took a bit. It came a long way. I think I bought it in a place in... Wow. I want to say Russia, but I don't think that's right. But I did buy it in a somewhere very far away. Really? I just thought it was fun. Jody, it's beautiful. I can make you a pair of socks. A, no, don't make okay, me a pair. Okay, that's so pretty. Isn't it? Jody, I bought you three. You. Oh my god, I'm so... not expensive. Really? Mm -hmm. So seventy five percent mulesing free. I mean, the hundred dollars shipping with might a... add to the cost, but no, it was <laughs> with chloro free treatment. So it's sort of like an eco friendly superwash, which is awesome. Um, I do love that. So it's seventy five twenty five. Wow, super soft, isn't it? I just thought because you love those those beautiful I do color changing sock yarn. I do. This, it's this would be amazing soft. as like a spin cycle mm -hmm. alternative, right? If you're knitting something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I keep saying any color changing yarn yeah. alternative. Like it could throw it in the mix. Yeah. The spin cycles, the yarn heroes, the the hand spuns, all of it. Look at the colors, like blue. This and then the, is like it gradiates. Wow. The yellow gradiates one way, the stripe, and the blue gradiates the other way. Oh my god! I just thought it was really. I saw it in Instagram. Well, it looks to me like I'm gonna have to crank a tube and get this. See what I mean? Just like to see it gradiates. The pinks are alternating stripe, and then the blue, but then the pinks gradiate one way. And it way. looks like the center is like the darkest. Yeah. Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah. Okay, Jode. Thanks. Fun. Just thought it was fun. I saw it's that. Beautiful. Um, I bought the sock yarn. Did I show this? No. Yeah. Beach. No, I didn't. Did I? No, I'm pretty sure I said I would share it next time. No. Did you show me? I showed you. Oh, okay, I don't know if you showed. Um, Beach a bouche just came out with a sock yarn, and it's a recycled wool product. It's marled. It was a really good price. I thought. 100 grams, um, and it's an 80% wool, 20% nylon, but it comes in these really fun... Did we show this? I feel like now I'm... I don't know if I showed you or if I showed our... I feel like we showed the okay. world. Okay. So if we showed the world, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's really fun. It's so It'll... good. You're seeing it again. There you go. Love. Okay. I'm going to show Grocery Girls. Are you done? I can be, yeah. You do that. I've got so I'm going to show Grocery Girls because there's a few things we have in our shop, you guys, that are worth noting. Yes. Oh, no. I want you to talk about that first. Should we do it during Frankie Gray? Yeah. Okay. So we got a little bit of a restock from our friend Janet, yes. who is the yarn bowler, who <gasps> does our pom-poms. Janet was also waiting on ribbon. That's why... Um, oh, really? Yeah. But... Four of these new pom poms are now in the shop. I photographed them this morning. Okay, they Jody, were too good not beautiful. to share. So the fur, <gasps> the fur, all, not all fur is outstanding, and it can vary we learn that a lot, a lot. Yeah, but if anyone's familiar with our rose gold color, they know the pom pom from the shop. Yeah. They know that that is over the top. 
It is luxe. This, and the, the fur is very, like, drapey, shiny. This like, is the same. It's not the same brand, but it's the same type. And it's <gasps> just a softer blush, even. Look. It That's is, stunning. It is, like, so faux real looking i can't even i feel like that's this is the one that the pink that even a pink lover can go for see i'm going to show it next to this this because it's barely like i think you could make it it could probably read a little bit differently yeah. but it is the a, so ba it is a tiny blush this one is is pom-pom 120 and it's called blush 2.0 but I want to show it next to the ivory, which is 121. This is ivory 2.0, just so you can see. See, they're both warm, but then this one you can see is definitely blush. It's a like warm, creamy. Barely blush. That's like creamy. You right? guys, these. These are amazing. Yeah. And I, Janet, oh my gosh, these are stunning. I could not believe <gasps> it. Yeah. It makes me want to cast on a hat. Okay, these two, you guys. This next one is called... Number 122, and I think I called it Slate with Auburn Tip. Ooh, it's so good. Look at the center wow. of this. Wow. Everybody loved the <gasps> pom-poms that had a bit of teal or a bit of the blue. Like, those were really popular. This, this is another. This has, like, an almost like a charcoal core, and then it goes out to slate blue, and then with an ever-so-soft auburn tip. <gasps> This is outstanding. That's another great one. Right? It's got a lot of dimension. This is number 122. Um, I love that. This is called number 123, and I think I called it gray Amazing. with taupe. Or I don't know what I called it. I'll have to look it up. But this is number 123. But Janet named it taupe and purple. I don't really see purple, but I kind of do. Is it mushroom? It's one of those colors that are... Is it mauvey gray? Yeah, but very... It's not, I would say, purple purple, but it leans that kind of... But put it on a put it on top of a hat of, yeah. like, blush. It's or... still a neutral, but it's really interesting color. Wow. Pecan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Kind of? <gasps> okay, that's really I brought pretty. these for you to keep. <gasps> I didn't list them, so oh those are God. for you. Okay, I know you're always so, looking for pom poms. Well, but. yeah, but now I'm stocked up. This is amazing. Right? This is definitely in the gray, gray and purple. Yeah. There's a big range where they really overlap, and Grayish. this is in there. But there's also the silver feeling of this. Yeah. It's this you guys, is phenomenal. These, these four. I mean, I love and I brag about our pom poms because I think they're amazing. I agree. But these four, because they're new, I'm obsessed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Janet. Amazing. I don't need this. Jody, I just brought it phenomenal. to refer to the numbers. I'm glad. Look at yeah. you and your notes. Okay. So we did show this, but we did get our books in this week. We also got 52 weeks of easy, easy knits. knits. Restock. That's been I think big... I showed last time, or did I? No, but it's a couple, like maybe a month ago. Yeah. yeah. We sold out really quickly, so we have in stock again yeah. lots of that 52 weeks of easy knit. I actually think those <gasps> books, like 52 pat, so 52 patterns in this Look. hardcover book, I think these are such a good value for what you're getting. This photography is stunning. The patterns in these books, they are meant to be maybe your first sweater, easy knits, relaxing knits, gift knit. Like, I really want to make the cover sweater. If Desperately. You, if you break down, it's just like a dollar or something it's, per pattern. If you kind of think it's of it crazy, that way. It's crazy the value in these books. But getting a library of books is something we love to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we love and this that. is one, you know, even if you're not buying every book, I feel like this is one that would get knit out of a lot. Because it would, has all of the things. And it would make a phenomenal gift. Yeah, yeah. it's not just shawls or socks. Yeah. It is a mix of everything you can imagine in a very relaxing, yeah. not complicated pattern. Exactly. I love that. I think that was brilliant for Lina. This is so cute. Can you talk about this? I got to check. Sure. Okay. It's the brand new edition. So Modern Daily Knitting, they do these things called field guides. And people will probably be very familiar. Every time they do a field guide, it's a different theme or it's a different designer. That's And it's about four patterns 
This, I think I drafted this and didn't, did I make it? Oh, this one is four patterns from Arna and Carlos speaking about color work. I'm sorry, you will not get a dicky in this, but, oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. That's what it's from. <laughs> so there you go. You're going to get a hat, a sweater, mittens, and a neck warmer. So that's a neck warmer. It's like a cowl. It's a cowl. Um, but in the photography is so beautiful. I it's active. Love yeah. the hat with the slouch at the top like that. Yeah. Um, I love, you guys, I love it. If we could call it like a little booklet. Yeah. But it's more than a booklet. It it's is more. For, but I love how they concentrate on one designer. Yes. And a lot of people collect these. There is a subscription you can yeah. get from Modern Daily Knitting. You can be collecting these. We do have one copy, if anyone was looking, of That's Grace, so which is the previous. And that was Hohi Locatelli's yeah. design. So we have one of those. Look at the mittens. Mm -hmm. It's stunning. So all the color work folks, um, it's called Glow. And it features Arna and Carlos. And I believe it features their Norwegian wool. But you're going to get like nice little blurbs in here about the patterns. Um, and at the very beginning, you learn a little bit about the designers. It's just gorgeous. These are such a cool, cool thing. And I think it's 20, 20 Canadian dollars. Yeah. So, and that's Modern Daily Knitting does Love those. It. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. We had a great big restock of Coco Knits. I do and love I just, Coco Knits. We've had these in the shop before, but these are things we use. We like to stock in our shop things we adore right. and use as knitters. Yeah. So these are precious metal stitch markers. I love these. And it comes with an assortment of small rounds, big rounds, and the light bulb? They yeah. Call it? Light yeah. bulb closing and stitch markers. And they're removable. Markers. So like, removable. literally, it's kind of the only stitch markers you could con kind of ever need in that one little magnet box we have these amazing snips if you're looking for really good snips coco knits does a wicked one yeah those really good snips um we restocked because we were out these are amazing it's their metal curved cable needle to me these are my favorite these are the ones i stock for myself and i've always got in my bags they're very easy to use and they're i can knit right off of them yeah right when you're using your <gasps> your stuff those are Love. great and hey. They're magnetic. They will stick to your maker's board magnet. So like if you're doing a project, I do that. Like I'll have my cable yes. needle stuck right to that. This, as a maker, crochet mm -hmm. or knit, do not want to live without. Right. It's a double-ended stitch fixer. Right. It's like the SOS tool. You've dropped your stitches, no problemo. It's amazing. Yeah. I bought this well before we had a grocery girl shop yeah. because I love. Me so too. Coco Knits, we've come to know and love all their stitch markers in the beautiful, fun colors they have. I'm going to open one to show you. I'm super torn because I love those precious metal ones, like the rose goldy and the brass. But her colorful stitch markers are so fun to use. Whoops. So these are the really big ones, the jumbos. But what you get in this box is you get five. I got it. Five styles of stitch markers. You get the jumbo, the original, the small, the triangles, and the spiral. The spiral ones are like a removable stitch marker. Like you can hook them to count rows or whatever. Um, this was is a great thing to have. I mm -hmm. love that I purchased this. Um, and I definitely use them. And if you knit with the Coco Knits method, if you're doing her sweaters, those colors mean something. Do they? Yes. They correspond oh to... God, I didn't know Yeah. That. So that's another thing we should do in 2023 is knit a Coco Knit sweater. Okay. Because her whole method, I'm really interested by it. And people knit it over and over and over. They love the way their mm. things fit. And she's got lots of cute designs. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Brand new coconuts item to us. Mm -hmm. It's called the Project Portfolio. And it's really interesting how they kind of show you in the packaging how they intended to use it. Oh, yeah, Joe. Look so they're that. using it here. Um, this horizontal pocket fits loose leaf sheets. 
Um, it's got a pocket elastic band that holds the books, magazines, and journals. I'm going to show you on the inside. And this can hold your phone and pens and things like that. You haven't seen this. I'm going to pull up a Here's picture. Here's the deal. I am someone that still prints my patterns. I'm not converted to digital anymore. So I always have... I love a printed pattern. I do. I still print them all. And I, I love that. So this, first of all, is made from her washable craft paper. You can literally break this in by washing it if you want. But the good news is if it gets damp or wet, it's okay. You're not going to wreck anything. Um, it's got these, all these slits, but it's also got these elastics. And people that journal will know that you can put a magazine or a book each elastic can be its own magazine that it's holding See? in there it's got one here it's got a big magazine in the slot there it's got a big slot you can slide in your ipad mini or your ipad if you want um it's phone uh pencils and pads of paper it's it's it is awesome and it is just something to keep you organized I just think we're such fans of everything we've used of Coco Nets. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to try this one too. We just brought a very few. And it comes with these fun colored elastics. So I would love that. But I do think this is something, and it's very slender and easy to port, portable, right? So you could even just toss your makers, like this and your makers board, you could kind of go anywhere, whether you're on vacation or... But I think everything in one spot. I just feel like sometimes you don't even know how much you're going to love it till you try it. Right? So this is another way to stay organized instead of a bunch of printed patterns that get folded and trashed. Yeah. Because I can certainly knit from the same pattern more than once. Yes. Right? So this is a nice, a nice thing. Uh, mine ends up real crumpled. But it doesn't have to. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. I yeah. completely agree. Yeah. And one other thing that we had people looking for, I mean, the shop's plum full, but we had restocked oh, yeah. the leather cutout stockinette stitch. We sold out at Christmas and people were really wanting more. And these take a little while because they're all handmade. This is so the chocolate brown. They're stocked. There's brown, silver, and black. And it's embossed with our cart. It's made by Brick Bubble for us and hand painted, hand and stained. two sizes. It can be used also to hold one of your big cowls or shawls. It's a double duty and it works so well. But yeah. the leather, it seems like the more you use this, the more you love it. Because it really just gets worn in. And I usually just have it. Like mm. with a bunch of stack or on its own. You guys, I love it. You got, they're really amazing. And it, you know what's fun also about this that I love is we know it's a stockinette stitch. Yeah. But someone could wear this who's not a knitter it, and just, it's got a cool design. It just looks like a cool chevron to probably non-knitters, but it is yeah. the, the V of a knit stitch. I adore Which these. we really love. So thank you to Diane and Mike who make these for us locally. We feel so lucky. Yeah, she's very local. Um, I couldn't. Yeah, Diane's amazing. This is this is these bracelets are us. We wear these yeah. all the time. You guys, we've been so such a good gift too. Like there's such a good oh, price point for a gift. I agree, you yeah. guys. And I also think, like I said, even your non-knitter friends will love these. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Love the chocolate brown. I have the black. I couldn't choose. I have. I know both for I sure. Know. And I wear both. Um. And we did try colors, and we love the colors more than the makers in our shop. So if you got a color, you're very lucky. I don't know that we'll be doing colors anymore. We um, could a couple times a year just we could. pop in Let a me fun tell color. You, I love my colored ones. I have a rose gold. Oh, I have the pearl and the red. Yeah. Yeah, there were some great colors. I'm just unpacking my yarn. So I let's start with these new colors. This is what I wanted Tracy to have her lollipop because this is a brand new color to the shop. Brand, brand new. I haven't showed you. Look, I've been shopping. This is all Frankie Gray fibers since the last time. Jody showed me all their brand new semi-solids to dye. I just can't even. I brought every can't color. Can't even. So, okay, so this is lollipop who, who we've always adored, mm -hmm. right? 
But this is brand new. It's called Hibiscus. Oh. It looks like it's glowing because it's that amazing. It's a super bright. It is. I mean, I have nail polish that color. I love that color. It's like a neon, but not neon. It's a warm, hot pink. Right? But, is that yeah. Would that be right? Look at. I don't know. I don't know a lot about a, color. When you say warm bright, and cold, I, I don't mean, know that. I feel dumb, but I don't no, know. No, but I feel like you would add more yellow to get this color than say the magenta is darker. Yes. Like that's cooler, right? This so this has is pink warmer. and yellow in it. Okay, yeah, so that's you're right. warm. Neons, yeah. Which is this is warm as well. Yeah. So like how this awesome. is just has got this has got twice as much yellow in it compared to this. So twice they would be so cute in something together. Because they yeah. are like cousins. Yeah. Yeah, I love it, Jody. So you this guys are is amazing. This is hibiscus on mohair. Hibiscus is the bomb. Hibiscus is the new black. <laughs> it and, goes with everything. Yeah, and then I wanted a really bright, like glow wormy, yellowy green. That's so cute. You guys love it. But look at these Very together. good. Yeah, lime green. That's a fun neon pairing. And this is called Atomic. And they're all all these semi solids that I now show you guys. It's all dyed to order. So I have. The fingering. So DK you're never out. Hair. We're never out. You can always order that. And this is what I we it's were dangerous. working on is because we adore these fun speckles. Yeah. But we wanted to be able to have people who don't love a speckle or that love a speckle that want to pair the solids. But you can marry it now. So yes. like there is no speckle that doesn't have a semi-solid buddy or 10 that would go with. Yeah. Because look. I love that. This has <gasps> hibiscus in it. I'll talk about that in a sec. But do you know what I mean? Oh my God, I love So that. now we're What's using. What's that one called? This is brand new. It's called Love Bug. It's awesome. You gave me the inspiration. You said yellow and Mayflowers. I don't remember that. But yes, I love you it. did. Okay, well, okay. it's awesome, Jody. Okay, so. Oh, and then here's it on mohair. <gasps> You guys are amazing. I'm really, 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 really proud of really, us, Really, 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 really amazing. Okay, so before we get into the speckles, I wanted to show you guys the browns because the browns are brand new. We hadn't done the neutrals when I showed you all those semi-solids. I right. brought like a speckling of them. I just had an idea. Okay, good. I love your ideas. <laughs> so we've come up with a few um, neutrals and browns, and I'll just go through them. Um, this is called linen. I love it. It's slightly different than parchment. I'm not sure that we'll keep both moving forward, but I wanted to try a dye, and this is how we came out with linen. Mm -hmm. So oat. Love it. Uh, tawny. That's really beautiful. Um, this is pecan. Ooh, that's really pretty. Walnut is a real brown That's brown. That's gorgeous too. Espresso. Oh, oh shit, Paws. I know it's a lot to hold in your hands. Um, toffee. Espresso's. Espresso reminds me of that pom pom. Yeah. Actually, I wanted you to get. Like, right. that would be so. Good. I actually wanted to see it with pecan. Okay. This no. one. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't like. But it, it would pecan. be phenomenal with yes. linen. Like phenomenal. Actually, espresso <gasps> is awesome. Yes. Espresso is very tonal for that. Like that just, Beautiful. the silver really pops in yeah. that. Jody, love that's. And then yeah, so toffee and gingerbread are the last two. Beautiful. I oh, felt like. Oh my gosh. And some of these might be weeded out because we ended up with like seventy-five. But these plus are all colors. super different. Mm-hmm. And you've got warm ones and cool ones and light ones yeah. and dark. Like, that's really beautiful. So now moving forward, we're going to be able to pull colors and give suggestions on patterns. I think the color Things work, like, that. like espresso and mm -hmm. linen, would be so beautiful. Striped or color work. It's nice to have an almost natural, right? It actually is. Pull out. Do you have parchment? No, you don't have parchment here. But it's close, but I feel like linen is a touch This is parchment yellower. mohair. Yeah. It's a touch grayer, right? I mean, it looks pretty simple. But it's, it's close. I want to say a touch more yellower. If this that is makes yellow sense. or I, no? Yeah. yeah. Linen's got a hair. I don't know. So it would be like a warm and a cool version of yeah. a very natural. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So 
linen and parchment would be yeah. nice. <gasps> Love that. Jody. Okay. So, this is so fun. So now that we're, we've got all those diet orders, these last couple of weeks have gone really, really well, you guys. Because I had said it's going to be like, I said two to three week turnaround on the website. Mm-hmm. But it's actually like, I print the orders Monday. We dyed them last week and this week, Tuesdays. We wind it and get it in the mail Wednesday. So Wow, that's amazing. It was really awesome. Like some orders can get pulled right away because when I dye them... One pot is 400 grams of yarn. Yeah. So if someone orders one of something, I still have to dye three, four, four yeah. of them. Yeah. So some orders get pulled and mailed right away. Oh, wow. Right? Just depends on It just depends colors. on your volume that week. Yeah. But I, even one week turnaround? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. One week till out the door. Right. For a and sometimes less if yeah. you ordered closer to Monday. Right. Right. So it was great. So we've we've gotten back mm-hmm. into the speckles. Look at all these colors. We have whoa. had so much fun. And whoa. We're yeah. Some of these are these first few I'm gonna show you are brand new colors. That's amazing. Amazing. This is it's called so pretty. This is called Surf's Up. That reminds me. See, little pops of neon, you guys. Yeah, I love it. That's what we're obsessed with. That right is now. super fun. This is a BFF for hibiscus. Yeah. But also, I'm sure lots of other. Yeah. Um, this is Love Bug. It has some soft. That's super pretty. Soft, purpley pink, and there's like splashes of like soft pale. That would be such yellow. a cute anything. But I'm thinking how that. cute for a pair of socks. This, this one is, we're probably not going to keep both of these because they're too similar. Right. But this one, anyway, this one is called you, Pixie Stick. That's really cute. Love that. Those are new. This one's new. Ooh, that's pretty. Sweet Tart. It's soft. Oh, wow. That's really, soft really, Soft neon really is beautiful. a thing, right? Like it's neon, but it's soft. It's not in your that's face. That's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Okay, so we re... Okay, no, here. Techno. Love it. I love a black speckle or whatever yeah, that is. Dark. It's really pretty. Um, okay, this is the one. Fairy Ooh. Garden. <gasps> That's so pretty. This is one for you. Oh my gosh, Jody. It was funny. I listed them all in chunky. So Tracy on the website. So looking and figuring. I'm shopping. And I said like, to I Jody, I also wanted to buy that Fairy Garden, but I couldn't find it. I don't know. She was like, I totally listed it. Jordan went, Mom. Anyway, <laughs> she fixed it. That's Fairy Garden. It's oh a very, my goodness. Very gray base with some fun, dirty speckles as well as some light. That's just bright. phenomenal. I mean, they're all phenomenal. Yeah. Jody, thank you. Oh my God, I love it. We've had this before, but we've kind of refined Ooh, that's our really technique. Mm-hmm. So um, this is called Euphoria. Wow. That is awesome. Isn't that amazing? Okay, that makes me think of your... Um, your v-neck slipover kind of what did you knit that had dark speckles like this that was you knit a love note that was your four-week love note yeah this reminds yeah. me of that that's that gonna spun feel, right round it was gonna feel like because you had a dark mohair yes. too right oh that does this, give me that feel it gives me that vibe yeah. and i love i love that. it this is also super good uh-huh like there's the little bit of yeah oh wow jody <gasps> um sourpuss that we all adore. Cult classic. Speaking of soft neons. Yes. Okay, I showed That's Pixie That's really stick. cute. This is also a new one. Poison pear. That will pair oh, wow. beautifully with our prickly pear or, oh, our, or our Merlot. Got it. Got it. Yeah, like if anyone's looking. No, seriously. <laughs> I was some, shopping. Some shawl selections. That, that goes beautifully with that. Oh my God, Tracy, you're so funny. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so these are all new colors. No, these are revisited colors with our new technique. Oh. I have to share this one because I'm crazy about it. Well, I mean, crazy about them all. Okay, but this will go with this. This okay. is called Bikinis and Beach Balls. You might have remembered. Yes. We're, we're Before they were like solid, hard lines, which isn't always the easiest and that's more time consuming. So we're doing like random, pour, more random pours with the same colors and letting them mix more. Just a different style. Yeah. And I feel like that's probably an easier 
thing to work in garments too. Exactly. When it's not Rather as those chunky, hard. like then you're sort of worrying about pooling a little bit. That's not what's that's what we're getting away from. Yeah, new style. Yeah. So I this, love the color family. Bikinis in that. and beach balls. You guys. Pinks and tangerines but and green. What about that? Okay, with this? so this color, this is Elmer, and it is sort of safety orange it really is this gorgeous bright safety darker green. than mango like it's really a beautiful orange and it goes it went so well with the pinks like honestly i just had these laying on my dining room table all week like dreaming of things to knit but look at that right there if you don't love a ton, what about this? Just do a small speckle line in between each as you're striping you a sweater. You could totally do so many things, but I, that warm, bright family, mm -hmm. I feel like it's probably part of this year. But I do, I just think they're very summery too. Mm -hmm. But this Elmer, you just think, whoa, that's such a bright orange. Adore. But it really is something that goes Adore. so well with lights and dark. It's like I bought your Indigo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't really mean for it to go together, but I mean this look you know, of it you could. could anyway, really mm. awesome. Love it. You guys are amazing. Okay. Um our let's split up gang was Oh yes, yes. Was a newer version of the Scooby Doo well, one. Yeah. What was that called? Uh you meddling kids. Meddling, meddling kids. kids was like the classic. This was like an updated version. And then with our new technique, and this is what has come wow. out. So this is the Scooby-Doo inspired Let's Split Up gang. That's adorable. Love. That's a really fun color combo. Isn't I really that? love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Super so love. So fun. Um, staycation was a, a very close relative to Weekend Getaway. Weekend Getaway. And those, that's very easy to knit into sweaters and stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. Three more. Oh. Um, Care Bears. <gasps> it actually, it's so fun because using this more random pour technique and mm -hmm. having the colors mix, you get the same feel because it's the same colors you're using, but a totally beautiful different it's yarn. It's kind of like a watercolor Style, this hey? is Care like Bears. It, that's really pretty. So I don't know if you guys remember, but this was our Care Bears colors um, with the updated pouring. It's absolutely beautiful combo. This, <gasps> we've had this before, cactus, cactus flower. It's got some really pretty sagey blues and some green that's with, really again, pretty. We're bringing in pops of pink, a box, pops, pops of neon, which is the hot pink. That there. is such a good color for spring. I could totally look at the blues in there. Knit a sweater in that. Yeah, I think it'd be beautiful. It would be so pretty, and I mean, even just a vest. Like I really am craving something like that. I know. But that is a very spring, new life kind of <sighs> beautiful color. And then we all remember all inclusive. Yes, which is amazing. But no one ever wanted, neither of us wanted to dye it because it was like we had to saturate it so much and yeah. it was straight lines and you didn't want to mix them too much. Right. So this. This is the new style. This is so pretty. But look what it's doing when you're like. That's. So gorgeous. this is all inclusive. It's so pretty. And so what we're doing now, follow us on Instagram, you guys. We're Frankie Gray Fibers on Instagram. After we get these, then I, I I pair this with three or four of our new dyed to order tonals to give you guys some suggestions. But yeah. Well, Jody, you guys are doing such amazing things. So one that you did made knit a vest in and you gave as a gift to me. I'm for wearing Christmas. that next time. <gasps> okay. I have that for next time. This is um winter in New York and parchment mohair. So last Friday, we're sitting around having coffee, and I'm ready, thinking about, I need to cast on a new sweater this weekend. Mm -hmm. And it was snowing, and it was freezing, and I really wanted mohair. I had a really hard time deciding what to, so I was swatching with winter in New York. Isn't this good? If I had two sets of arms, I would be knitting two sweaters right now. This is Jordan's creation, so I'm going to say, this is so good. This is a really beautiful, there's so many beautiful speckles, but I just, I know this is something that I would But wear like not time. everybody It's got does grays this, and but, yeah. gold. Like it reminds me of 
granite or something when you crack open a rock like there's those beautiful mm -hmm. natural colors in there um this will totally be something that i cast on I very soon it's more what maybe people would think if they're not crazy color wearing people right this is a more wearable speckle but so are these I mean, I think and so, so is your this fairy garden for sure, Love. and the weekend getaway. Like all of those things are. I can't wait to see that. Swatched. And this, yeah, that was new to us, so I can't I wait to see like it this swatched. Is, this is for sure a sweater. Hmm. Um, everything's a sweater these days. But I maybe I should just make socks, and then I can share share it next time. You guys have been crazy busy. We've been so productive. We've been. It seems so like you've proud been so ourselves. inspired. Yeah. And these wild ones, I tell you, these Pull them. these wild colors, like these make such fun socks, hats, stripes, color work. One wild skein can really blend with mm -hmm. tonals and whatever to do all kinds of things. And plus, if you add a mohair, yeah. like it really. Listen, can someone be just whatever. said, Minis, there's not enough time in the day. I would love to like pick one of these and do a mini of this. Yeah. And then three or four other colors to go with it. Yeah. Or Tracy had the most amazing idea was it did like a full skein and then minis and do like one every month. Like have this is our mini set this month. Sure. Or whatever, right? Maybe pertaining to the month you're in, right? You could do a mini skein club. Right. People love to collect mini skeins. I think I would either need to hire another person, right, or quit all jobs. I love it. So, listen, at that point, the option, yeah. But I love, I, I can't even tell you how much joy this is bringing me. Right. That's Just, awesome. Yeah. I mean, love. to be so gratified and fulfilled Yeah. because the work is hard. Oh, it's hard work. It is very hard work. And I don't think people remember with their yarn dyers, like how much physicality mm -hmm. it requires. You know, you really, you guys should be doing like a massage too mm. for yourselves. We had a breakfast meeting yesterday. Did you? But you should really go for a massage, yeah. both of you guys, yeah, yeah. because it, there's a lot of that lifting yeah. and bending, and it's hard on, hard on you. Listen, a dream would be to have another person, so you could like, you know how you and I, when we're talking about all this yarn, Tracy's like, oh, you could get it with this, and yeah. I feel like you could do this, and I feel yeah, like listen, I would love two pe I would love two people to be another person to be with Jordan full time, yeah. So then I could be doing the kits help, and stuff. Help develop these colors and then that other element of because yeah. Jordan Marketing. doesn't have the knowledge. Right. But let me tell you, we work so well together. Yeah. And she loves lots of admin computer work, wow. social media. I lucky love twisting yarn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, lucky for you. So um listen, when we shared that Elton and those fuzzy sweaters at a big gauge. I think holding two DK and a mohair would make an awesome lento or that fancy sweater. What do you mean holding two DK? Well, it's a bulky sweater at like oh, a yes. 15 stitch gauge. What sweater? That fancy one that I Yeah, shared. sorry, fancy. Yeah. So, or I lento. Love. So, so two DK? I don't know. You'd have to swatch. Or one DK and two mohair? Right. But then, yes, Maybe. It would require a little bit of... How many stitches is this? 15. 16. Like the love note. Oh, so I could DK do a six mohair. or a six. It could even just do DK mohair. Yeah. DK mohair would do it. Because I feel like sometimes the DK... At, I've done a, lo a love note with just DK. Yeah. I think the DK mohair would be amazing. And what ultimately I would love to have done with this is in each of these pans have one one mini of fingering so then I can now go and crank a, right. the sample right because I would love to see our yarn in at least one shop yeah by March or or by the end of March do you know what I mean I would love to just start with one wholesale right I feel like we could fit that in right I don't know I seems like you guys have a system it, it would have to be try like because they would order you get it to them and well, I, I don't would, know. We would you, have to figure it out. You get to say, you know, it's a four-week turnaround or mm -hmm. whatever. So you could maybe if you die enough for the shop one week, you could do your wholesale order. Mm -hmm. So it could be less. That would be 
phenomenal to see Frankie Gray fibers on the wall somewhere in someone's local yarn shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like my brain is just... I feel like an Elton would be such a good sample, too. Or even like this. I could even do a sample this big as an Elton stripe. Yeah. Like this would be like your speckle and your mohair. Mm -hmm. It would be super cute. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I also really love, Jody your sand dollar. So this is sand dollar. So this is linen and this is sand dollar. Sand dollar is a darker parchment. It's the same color. Okay. So, but Very see nice. how the, it's a little brown, like it's a little yes. warmer. I feel like linen has a spot in the lineup. I do too, because yeah. it's very natural. Yeah. Maybe we, maybe we get rid of parchment. <gasps> what are you talking about? <gasps> Clutching my pearls. Freaking crazy. No. Listen. The trouble is, when I get all these colors and I see them all. Line them up and you'll know which yeah. one is, is. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you come back another day. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe never. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's exciting. Also, I mean, we'd never say no to um, Knit City Vancouver, a booth. Well, you've said it several no, times. But so maybe not. I don't know what you're I talking about. I feel like in, Jordan and I had a conversation this fall and we were like, let's just do it. Let's, let's say we're, let's say we're a yarn dyer now. Right. And let's just. Give it our all for a couple of years and see where it goes. Right. Because we adore doing it. Right. Even Jordan, who's not crafty, who I've said before, I'm surprised she loves this as much as she does. Right. Guess who's, we're crocheting something together. Huh. Jordan and I are crocheting a vest. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah. Anyway. Here's the deal. If she likes to crochet, you can do granny square samples of your colors. Yes. Right? If she, does mm -hmm. she know how to do that? Yeah. Or she can do a square. Sure. Yeah. We and just you watched. can crank tubes, right? Yeah. So really when you're doing your colors, you could throw three full skeins and five minis, right? To make up the weight mm -hmm. of your, and then you have some for samples. Yeah. Jody, you guys, you guys got it going on. Very, very, yeah. very exciting. I'll work in your booth. I'll sell you. I'm not working in my booth. Huh? I would be hiring you someone, Jordan and somebody else. I would be not there the whole time. Vending is too hard. I know. That's why I'm so reluctant. I know what vending's like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You could hire someone. But yeah. people want to say, Rebecca, let me tell you, people Bex, want to see you. Bex, one of these years, you and Jordan, I'll bring you out to Vancouver. That's someone that would, I, adore I don't know her. if she's got. Wouldn't she be amazing? Rebecca? Yes. Of course. She has so much but, knowledge. But wouldn't, um, if you're looking for samples too, she's such an amazing sample knitter. Yes. Yes, you, Rebecca. <laughs> anyway, we're, um. we're having so much fun. Um, I love, I'm so, I feel lucky to have you to be like, what about this? And oh my gosh. And what about like, cause I don't, you're way better. Then ask, because I don't want to be that person going. I'm inspired by your colors, for I sure. I love your ideas. For sure. Um, we all know I never remember pattern names. Like, right. you just have, like, a library in there. I don't know why that is, but mm. it's crazy. Um, I literally can't wait to cast this on. I can't tell you how lovely. Come on. Well, I'll show you. I'll wear mine next week. You'll yes. See. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know, and I feel like almost that I would make it a turtle, like, like something really... But then I wouldn't wear it as much. I, it's something that I know I would wear so much. Right? We're not going to st stitch as West, but we are going to the August, beginning of August. What's that called? Flock? Flock? Something, yeah. Fiber Festival outside of Seattle area. Yeah. Yeah. Star. I'm excited. As always. Star. We adore you. you. Amazing to get out of bed and do all of this every two weeks. When you said do it every week, she probably went, I'm out. Urch! <laughs> no. So thank you, thank you. And we also have an anonymous show notes fairy that is has joined our team, basically. Um, We're a team here, guys. Star uh, is a team I member. I am so grateful for both of you ladies. And um, it's phenomenal. I never thought in a million years to even think about somebody else doing our show notes. But the last two episodes 
that's been the case. You guys, it she, is. She took it upon herself to say, I think I maybe could help. Would you be interested in? And I thought to myself, Tracy, you should have seen Tracy dancing around I here. I said to Jody, I'm in shock. My mouth was on the floor because it's so much to do show notes. And it's just been what I've done. And I'm in the groove. And that's what I do. And it's no big deal for me. But it's phenomenal. It was phenomenal. No, I feel like it's no big deal because I've done it for years. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. And it's a big deal for someone to be so generous with themselves to okay. chip in. I'm j- you guys And she's sh- like, I would like to remain anonymous. I totally get it. I I'm literally floored. She does it as we talk. I picture her like in a sh- <laughs> in a frenzy in the background. She probably can't go to the bathroom. No. She's like what's going on? But you, you guys, know, I got the email. She's like, "Wow, that was chatty." And I was like, "That's all we do." No, it's we, not our mom. We do chatty. It's not mom. It's a knitter that has been here and she just said, I'd love to give back. And I just, it still blows my mind to imagine that someone is doing this for us. So I, it's not, you know, certainly not, a, you don't have to do it every time, but I am so grateful that it has worked for you. But Actually, if, I'm lying. It's a, it's a lifetime <laughs> commitment now. It's a full on, you are never allowed to not don't do Don't forget it. to like, hit that thumbs up button because that just puts us in an algorithm so our video shows up to more people. And subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. Because then you don't miss any notifications right. about when we are on the tube. Right. And we love coming here to you guys. Thank you so much for the community that you show us. Um, please join our make-alongs. We've got our sock bash happening. We've got our accessory stash make along so you can't use you can't order yarn for it you got to use your stash because mm-hmm. not everybody's a sweater knitter and we totally get that um and we're gonna have so much fun so much fun yeah and maybe i'll think of bringing knitting next time to the knitting podcast yeah. jody you're just gonna get whatever who the heck are you you would think you guys grocery girls is about to turn seven you would think we would have it together by now no not even close no not is even this thing close. on hello is it backwards? Is this backwards? Uh. I feel like the glow of the lights because my skin doesn't look like this. I'm feeling to start that I, that I look sweaty and I'm not. No, it's so dewy, bad. It's called dewy, Tracy. I don't think it's good lighting. But it's dewy. It's, it's what we have. We love you. Have an amazing two weeks. Thank you for popping in. Knit with us. Yes. Yes. We adore you. And we will see you in two weeks. Yeah. And what's the date today? February 2nd. So February 16th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eat okay. some eat some Valentine chocolate for yourself. Have a good day. If I have to. We love you. Oh, love you. Bye. Bye.